What up and welcome back. Good morning. Thank you so much to everybody who has been patiently waiting here uh, for the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast to start. Appreciate everybody tuning in before on the pre-show. And uh, salute to you guys that are joining us here now on Twitch and Patreon. For those of you guys that do know that uh, after that do that, 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 I'm sorry. For those of you guys that know, uh, what is it? We will be cutting it off and we will be going to full on Patreon after like an hour, an hour and so. So just uh, I will say join the Patreon now. I mean, don't be, you know, I mean, don't be skipping out. If not, wait till YouTube till it comes out afterwards. Um, joining me without, in, you know, without hesitating to interrupt me by laughing is the one and only XG. What's up, dog? What's up? Thank you for the bagel. You're welcome, dog. I'm surprised you ate. Uh, yeah, usually, usually I fast como hasta las once, but you blessed me with the bagel. I can't say no. Usually, people that fast are fat. Like you have no reason to fast, like unless you're unless te estás pudiendo de adentro. No, but fasting is good for your body. You're not supposed to. You're, you don't want your body digesting 24 hours a day, eating three meals a day. You really think what the government said? Eat three meals a day, and whole grains is the best at the bottom. That. Food pyramid was scammed, just like eating three meals a day. Ooh, but, just like waking up eating cereal. But if somebody, like orange if, if somebody, you know sugar that if is? somebody, if somebody, but, you but, is? but si te carne asada three times a day, you gonna eat it though. Well, that's why I'm I'll, I'll fucking eat that shit, bro. I'll be like, I don't care what the government yeah, says. We <laughs> can tell you will eat that shit. <laughs> that shit is good, bro. <laughs> hey, but I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, two, two skinny foods over here, dog. I was like, like, I was like, gonna start ganging up on me. But uh, we got the one and only Neat Martinez joining us. Golden Mariachi, fucking artist. And I saw a pair of scissors tatted on you. You cut hair too or what? Yeah, bro, I'm a I wish I had hair, dog. <laughs> Fuck, man. I got, I got this Dr. Sebi fucking banana cream shit. I don't know this thing that's supposed to make my hair grow back. We're going to see how right Nipsey Hussle was about Dr. <laughs> Sebi, dog. Just get the fucking hair replacement or hair My follicles still hair. grow, bitch. I went to the doctor already. They're, they're still there. They haven't died. Like they're still there. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> what are you I, doing? Like, well, how do you how do you check that or how do they do? Like, that? you go to the dermatologist, fool, and then like that fool's like, like so he'll be like, look, fool, aquí, like hasta calvo, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like there's nothing. The land is dead. They threw salt on there, but it's like they they put you under like a like not a microscope, but they put you under like a scanner, and then they're like, fool, your follicles are still growing. Like you just like you know like you're, you just need that extra help type of shit. Ah, okay. So some fools they still have their hair growing like that, but it's just not growing like. On a thicker level, so it's like you could either nourish your shit back because it hasn't died. It's, like, it's when that shit is looking like a bald pussy, bro. Like that, you should worry. Like where it's like there, it looks like there's no signs of nothing. That's when it's like, oh, right, you're, it's too late. You got to get the implants. All right, all right. You want to get the implants? Well, I'm so with Turkey is far, bro. I only want to go to no, safe no, countries. No, 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 no. I've been thinking about. It. I've been, I've been researching that shit, bro. They have it in TJ también. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know people that get fucked up well out jobs in TJ. Now I'm over here thinking I'm gonna get my hair. I was, <laughs> Uh, a fucking the homegirl no. reverie with that fucking muela. Remember that video she posted up, but they took her muela out and it was all black. Time. Was it? Foo. All right. By the way, what's up, Bray? Welcome what's up, back, guys. What's up? Good morning. Uh, but yeah, so for some of you guys don't know, reverie. Shout out to you, reverie. She's the homegirl, uh, dope LA artist. She like she posted this story and it's not like I'm not I'm not like I'm burning her out, but like she's like, guys, I went to Mexico and I fucking got like. My teeth on. Was that before she was rich? Cause now nah, she, can nah, she, now she, she, she can afford whatever. She still goes over there. She still goes over there. So, 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 <laughs> so, look, so, <laughs> so she went over. So she went gone over there and she got like a root canal done. But I guess they like they did a Mickey Mouse job. And then sure enough, like two years later, she had to have like a fucking like two. So dentist here's a lot of pain. And the muela had gotten all black, fool. It was crazy. And then they had to like take it out. It was an emergency and all this shit. But yeah. Fuck that. So how long? Oh, so you're you're me. Get a little bit closer to the mic, please, if you can. So you, you what, what came first? Were you a barber or a musician first? Um, uh, I've been doing music longer. Music longer? Music, yeah. When did you learn how to cut hair? At fourteen, bro. At fourteen, and yeah. when did you and when did you get interested in music? Like at eight. Yeah. Yeah. I started writing music when I was like eight, nine years old. Uh, like just trying to rap, bro. Honestly. It started after watching that movie, fucking Eight Mile. I know you heard of it. <laughs> this is this was favorite fucking my, movie I, of all time. I, 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 he I, says it's the most gangster movie ever, a gangster bro. Ass movie, dog. Bro, that, that movie's inspiring. I was like, I'm telling you, I was a little kid. I was a little kid, and I watched it. I went to school. I started telling my homies, "Hey, bro, we need a rap, bo a rap battle," and just start going at it. He just, he just, it. he just walked up to the homies. and was like, "Hey." You see, name my homie. We gonna start doing that. <laughs> yeah, bro. And I, I, I grew up in South Central, so like. In my community where I grew up in that area, it was like a lot of African American people. So well, part of South Central, 30s and 40s? Like 40s. Yeah, I, lo okay. I live in the 30s. So okay. it's like, yeah, a bunch I, of Morenos. I, there was <laughs> a lot of Morenos growing up. A lot of my friends, my best friends, always been like my whole lifetime best friends been black, bro. So 
um a lot of these dudes had it in them to rap bro so when i started getting into like rap, they're just like good at it I don't yeah know, like, bro <laughs> like it's like i don't it's, even know you're like, culture you know yeah like you're like fool, i was like that's why like now you're seeing all these corrido artists you're like hey fool we're good at that all right yeah yeah, yeah like, so pretty much that's how it happened bro i started like just fucking around freestyling or or, or like rap battling saying dumb shit with my homies and then I remember this one time we went to a park. It was right there uh, by Jefferson High School on the east side. This is park by Jefferson High School. Oh, I know what you're talking about. And, yeah. Um, we went to the basketball courts and some, some some little older black kids started rapping on one of my, my homies and started like clowning on him. So I had already written some shit down. So I was like, hold on, bro. I got your back. So I started <laughs> rapping at this dude. We ended up getting into a fight. And my mom was there. Yeah. My mom was there. Um, they broke it up. They're like, what happened? And then I told her, oh, it's because we were rapping. She, she's like, well, what did you say? So I told her, <laughs> I was rapping English, you know? So yeah. I was like. You translated it? Yeah, I told her what I said. And she's like. Dije should... que es un puto. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> so she told me, you should try to do it in Spanish. Just so I can understand, you know? So that's where it switched, bro. Yeah, how old is your mom for her? You get that response. Um, she, She's like 41. Okay, so she's kind of, you know, she, she's... I mean, 41. 51. Okay, all right. So she, she's still she's still kind of hip with it, bro, but she understands that this is, like, a lane to yeah, you. Like, yeah, yeah. It's different. My, like, if you have a parent that's over 60, they're from a different generation. Like, 60 and up, it's hard to change that mentality because they want you to trabajar. They want to see you sweat. Yeah. You know what I mean? They could never understand that, like, you being a streamer could actually pay off more than what they could make in a year. Bro, not only that, but when my when I was a kid, my, my, my parents, um, when they found out that I, that I wanted to do music... Uh, cause I grew up in a church and my mom would always sing in the coro de la, de la iglesia. Like, uh, like, uh, Bento Costel? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I've yeah, been to those yeah, churches yeah. now. My best friend was like, uh, was one of those, hermano, como esta varón? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly, bro. Bendecido, bendecido. And yeah. then, um, so my mom always liked music, you know, so when they found out that my brother, my older brother got into it too, we started doing, um, Christian music. We started doing Christian music. My dad took us to a studio. He invested into us, like uh in a in a professional studio recording. but were you doing like christian hip-hop or like christian reggaeton okay all right cool i remember yeah. when that was kind of like starting off because i'm like the only thing that you'd go to every every church because i i took world religious dog because i have a ba in communications and i had to take i had to like have, i had to take a bunch of like understanding of different religions to learn how to deal with people in the world dog because it's a part of communications okay so religious is one of the main things so i i'm like all right i, I had to i had to spend time and really get to know this like especially because i was latino it's like, just easy but then it's like, I got to know the difference between all this stuff. Yeah, and like all the music they had in, the, in those churches, like you would hear it like, and the youth wouldn't really get into it. Cause you're not, the youth hasn't been to enough hardship for them to be like, levanto mis manos. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's good for the senora that fucking ran across the border, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like she like, she fucking almost <laughs> died, bro. Like wait up, wait up, my hardships is different. I want to dance and praise God, bro. Wait up, like, I'm sure I'm not the only one that's ever heard of Christian reggaeton. It was that, that's that was a that was a thing. Even if it was for five years or one or two years, it, it was a it instead was, of Tito el Bambino, yeah, Tito el Bendecido, bro. <laughs> you, you know, like like some of the pioneers in the reggaeton, yeah. like, like Vico C, bro. That he was doing Christian reggaeton. You know, one of my favorite artists of all time, and it's like this. Uh, I really it, it it didn't hurt me, but it's like I really learned at that moment. It's like, hey, fool, God's real, dog. Like when I see Hector el Father, like turn his like, his whole life around and just. Become yeah. Christian and all this stuff. Yeah. And just go all that. I was like, all right, dog, there's something to this. Cause I was like, you had a rock aware deal lined up with Jay-Z. You were about to, uh, you were on the way to become the spokesperson yeah, on it, but you weren't happy. And I was like, so, so, all right. So you're, so you're going, your dad's taking you to the Christian, uh, to, to, to the record some Christian songs and Christian reggaeton. And at that moment, like that you're cool with that. You're like, uh, like, you're, like, that's what you want to do. Or you, you have ambitions of like, nah, I want to make real reggaeton songs. Nah, bro. we like, I just wanted to do music. And since I grew up in the church and, you know, those were our beliefs. I mean, it's still my beliefs, bro, you know. I believe in God and all the stuff that that, that I was taught as a kid. I just don't practice it like that, you know. And, and, you know, now it's different. I don't really follow religion. I just don't like it. But um, I still believe there's there's God and, you know, all the stuff. But, but Like your faith isn't broken, but you have a different understanding of it. Yeah, bro, I just don't do, because I, I feel like a lot of churches, um, they just manipulate people and take their money, bro. I've seen it a lot, you know, growing up, so I just don't support that. I'm not saying every church, but a big part of them. It's crazy that you, that you speak on that, bro, because my my, my best friend, he he um he grew up in, like, Pentecostals and, and all that stuff. And then yeah. you go into a little churches, and I would always ask him, because he's... He's always trying to like, you know, get me to go and I, I would always go, but I wouldn't be with it. You know what I mean? I would be there. I'd be like, 
I'd be like, fool, she fainted. She's shaking. You know what I mean? I would be like, this is crazy. Yeah, like, nah, bro, I would want to eat and stuff. Like, afterwards, I'd, I'd be hanging out with this. I was like, you would be cooking bombs. So I'd just be hanging yeah. out with these fools. And I was just wondering, like, and I remember that he, he was Swiss church. And I would always ask him, be like, hey, fool, how come you fools don't ever get a Catholic sized church? Everybody puts in money. I was, like, yeah, I, was I was like, how come you guys don't get a bigger building? I was like, we gotta deal with a plugged up bathroom here for three weeks in a row. It's crazy. It's looking like bro. B-Real TV. Yeah, it's crazy, <laughs> bro. So like back to the story, um uh I started doing um reggaeton and you know, I didn't know too much music at the time. I didn't know too many artists. I just knew what well, actually when I my mom was like, You should do it in Spanish, she took me to the library and church and she bought me my first album, which was um, uh, an artist and producer named Funky. He was a producer. Era, era, era Cristiano? Yeah, Christian. Right. He, he was funky in the in the reggaeton space, in Christian music general, he's like like the daddy Yankee bro of Christian reggaeton. You know it's crazy I like it's like it's, and I've never and, and I, I believe it that he's on that level but it's just it's crazy how like because it's such a different world like I'm yeah, like how come yeah, I never yeah, come yeah, across yeah. this? But the people in the reggaeton space they got to know who Funky is bro. Funky produced Biko C so uh, fucking historical fucking album called um Aquel que había muerto yeah. which uh, miren, miren, why? Yeah, I'm well, yeah, not familiar uh, with that. Funky, album. funky produced it, you know, and Funky sent some of those songs, bro. So a lot of people, they don't, sh sh how can I say, like shine light on him, but that dude is like, he has a lot of, uh, uh, what, uh, how can I say, he's a lot of, he's in a lot of the, what reggaeton is now, you know, like he was some, he's one, like, he's like the other fool that, that hung out with, uh, uh that fool from, uh, uh, what is it, Cash Money, baby? Uh, you know how there's a, Big timers, and there was the other fool that looked like a fat lesbian. I was like, and how he's, yeah, yeah how, Manny Fresh, I think his name. Yeah. Yeah, and like how he's behind a lot of those big hits, but nobody, he's not like baby. He's like, yeah, but people yeah, yeah. that are in that scene, they know they're like, hey, bro, if you you blessed if you get a beat by that. Yeah, fool. yeah. And then that dude put on a lot of people in the Christian world who are now to this day relevant. So I, I started listening to the dude, and then, um, we kept doing stuff, and we belonged to a really big church that had a lot of, you could say, like franchise franchises in South America, um, in, 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 in Mexico, in, in Central America. So we started growing, uh, uh, following my brother and I. We were called Levy and Tito. We were a duo. And, Levy uh, and Tito? Levy and Tito. My brother's uh, Levy. What, what age Tito. is this? I was like 13. My okay. Brother, my well, brother. You, you just said that, and that was crazy because you just posted a song by Rakim and Ken yeah, that yeah. you wrote when you were 14. Yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy, fool? Like, and Ray will tell you, I was doing reggaeton at that age. You remember when yeah. I was doing that shit, Ray? Yeah. Like, but I was doing regular. I was with this duo, fucking, uh, I forgot, fuck, I forgot, fuck, I forgot Mel, 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 Melo Davi and JLD. And I remember I used to fucking, like, I, I used to be there, like, they're kind of like their their hype hype man yeah, in a yeah. sense, but then they started giving me verses, you know what I mean? And then I was like, <laughs> then I started doing it, but that, I used yeah, to, it was yeah, crazy. Yeah. So it's bro, that, that, that era was reggaeton was fresh, it was new. You know, I was, was listening tough. to De La Ghetto on the way here, dog, yeah. and I was listening to some shit with him and Zion. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm like and that's like that right around that era where I'm yeah, like, bro, oh, that's man. like the early two thousands, bro. And um, I'm telling you, um, my brother and I, we were doing um, um Christian reggaeton and. And we were writing songs. I was always writing my shit, bro. I was writing the hooks and writing the verse. My brother would just hop on a verse, you know, because he was more of a rapper. And um, how, what can I say? Like we we started we started growing in the church, performing at churches, and like, then like tour style. Bro, we would go like at those church carnivals yeah, like, type of stuff. No, because our church had a name, right? And from that church, the yeah, from yeah. that church, the pastor was sent dudes in there to open their own churches. So from that church, it was there like, was like a Herbalife, lot of franchise. Dog. Yeah, there yeah. was a lot of franchise. So we would go to the other little churches and, and perform. So we were growing a crowd. How far did you Herbal go? Christ. Bro, we, were, <laughs> we didn't go too far because everything fell, fell apart like quite early. But um, we went to the valley like Reseda. We were like in Oceanside. So just like. And these local. are all different churches, though, you're going yeah, to? Yeah, we would go to my brother and I. And. Um, and then my brother got his girl pregnant, and you know you can't do that. You That's what <laughs> he said. You can't hey, do that. Hey, it's, it's, it, hey, fool! I, I'm starting to see. A, I'm starting to see a connection right now because I'm like. I'm like, that's what messed up your reggaeton group too. I was like, what are the, <laughs> one of the brothers got what a, a girl pregnant. Yes, that year ago, bro. We had a universal deal, bitch. Bro. Why would you? Hey, but you know what, bro? Like, aside from that, our actual pastor, I'm not even gonna say his name, bro. But dude never really supported us, bro. Because I feel like 
if we were building a, a kind of following in that church and we were to branch out, we would take a lot of his crowd and that's money that he'll lose, you know? So yeah. that's why he never really like put us out there. Because if ah. he really wanted to, bro, he would have blew us up, send us to all he the He was churches. a gatekeeper. Yeah. That's what he was. He was a gatekeeper, dog. He knows that there's talent around, but there's an invisible fence. He doesn't want you to pass because yeah. that affects the color of his grass. Yeah, bro. Exactly. And it's a business at the end of the day, bro. Very interesting. So that's what happened, bro. And and, and honestly, bro, like when that happened, um, you know, they, they didn't want to support us no more. We were pretty much like looked down upon because it's like, oh, you commit a sin. You know, you're having sex without being married. You know, you're having. I mean, how did he know that? He wasn't there. Like, you know, I was just saying like. Uh, no, no, but because he got the girl pregnant. Got a, got oh, 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 he was always yeah. talking to your brother like yeah, that. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. so there was no backing from yeah. the church. And then it's like. When you when you're making Christian music, God. it's yeah. like you gotta live what you're saying, it's bro. It's like it's like when you're making K-pop, you can't get fat. It's not. It's like those that like like what they say, like no cap in your rap. You really gotta live that life and be about that life if you're singing about that life. Yeah, you know? It's like like the Jonas Brothers when they had that promise ring or whatever. Yeah, they could they couldn't get caught. The if chastity they, ring. Yeah, if they, <laughs> if they if they got caught getting girl pregnant, the whole show's over. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro. Like, Plan B. Yeah. So, <laughs> so like like Justin Bieber, you don't think Justin Bieber was like. Ooh. Getting pussy, but we acted like he wasn't to like. I bet yeah, you celebrity. Bro. I bet you celebrities yeah. like him though. They probably have like that some kind of plan B. They like like somebody could just breathe in the air. Life was crazy. The girl comes out the bathroom. <laughs> you know what I mean? And she just <laughs> think it's regular air. Ain't no baby here. <laughs> like I, I'm just saying, dog. There's probably like like there's probably some kind of birth control like that. You know, the only reason men don't have birth control is because like we just like the people on top. They just like it ain't going down like that. <laughs> like they're just like we ain't no, nobody be taking no. Over. No, I'm telling. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's what, not gonna happen. No, I'm telling you why we will not. There will never be male birth control. That's what I'm saying. Like the no, pe- you the wanna pe- know why? Like the real reason because nobody people, would take it. You want to get fat? You want to get acne? Like all these girls, you, they, all these girls go through a lot of shit for taking birth control. Shout yeah, out to them. Are those the actual day. side effects? A lot, but yeah, a lot, a lot of a lot of them. The side effect is that they just go fucking crazy. Like if you, you have, wanna if, go like, crazy, huh? You have yeah. a gun. You want to go crazy? The, what, what, no, I'm, I'm saying I'm not, I wouldn't use it. I would be like, listen, this ain't going down like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, it's crazy. So, the, so what, what kind of was the what was the backlash that you faced from like the church? Like this, this, this that one like mirando mal from that after that. They were just like, yeah, bro, you're just not taking serious no more. Like you were just like you lost all credibility. You fucked up your name and. So la cagaste. Yeah, why, so, why don't you go as a solo artist and like, yo, look, when, when you're like, I, I didn't get nobody yeah, crazy. I, get no, I was there. <laughs> nah, bro, because I, I, I was walling out too. I ain't gonna lie, but it's because we were like, we was young, bro, getting attention from the girls. Like, yeah. you know, it, it was just like, bro, what are we supposed to do? And then if you get attention from girls at church, fool, those girls are starved, dog. I remember when I was like, no, I like stars. It's yeah, bro, because like their parents are so protective, so the only guys they're gonna trust is the guys that bro, they meet at church. You say that. The girls that I know from church that are, to this day I still have relationships with, or like I, not relationships yeah. like that, but I mean like I still keep it cool with them. They more wild than the girls that not. Bro. Yeah, they be doing crazy shit. I be even like, damn. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> like nigga, I didn't know you go like that, but it's, it's, but it's crazy, bro. It's for God. Yeah, no, it's because they, they they be starved. They bro. were starved, bro. They were just like it's kind of like you have a somebody caged up. As soon as you but let them free, that, they run. That Catholic school thing that they talk about Ooh. is real. Like I I I'm, I'm, I went to public school. I never really. Well, I, I'll tell I'll tell you a story, dog. I remember one time, dog. I I remember I, this is like a, like after high school, I was messing around with this girl, and she was a pastor's kid, right? Like you know, like like you know, like she like you know like. She would wear the skirt all the time, but she had a big booty, dog. You know what I mean? And all this stuff. And I'm just like, <laughs> and, I, and I'm just like, damn. And I'm like, and I would be, we'd be, hey. off. You're like, show it off. Yeah, we'd be, hey, yeah, fool, just <laughs> need the fucking, the, the fucking, the little devil in the ear, bro. <laughs> and I just remember, I'm like, some of the shit this bitch was talking about and she was trying to do it. Like, she was with it. I was like, damn, bitch, I ain't even done this. Like, what the fuck? Like, and, and, and I'm like, how long have you been getting down like this? But it's like, yeah, bro, they're star because they have, like, the only guys that they're able to be around with. And even then, there's still some kind of, some kind of, Iffiness is the fools at church. So it's so like there, there's there's no exploring your sexuality like a normal person. Like, you know, you go to school, you're like, I don't know, I have butterflies in my stomach. I kind of want to fuck her. I kind of want to make out with her. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like you figure it out. But like when you have somebody telling you like, hey, that feeling is a fucking sin or like and all this shit. And like you can't really explore yourself. It's kind of hard, bro. That mm-hmm. You're going to be like, well, like, when you fuck get, it, that's you not know, looking right here. When so you I'm get gonna, a taster, you going to go crazy. So yes. Wait, 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 so how is there? How is there? Christian reggaeton, but there's no perreando. Bro, it's funny. No, it's no, funny. No, 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 no,
Puerto Rican artists to come that were known, and then the church, our church was like five thousand members. It was a big church. Man, that's so a big church. So when the when the when the when the dude will come perform, there'll be at least like two thousand people at the freaking church, the big church, bro. Yeah, that's so, a lot of people. That's so a like, concert. bro, they're like all crowded in the front. And and we have videos, bro, that I'll see. These was are perreando to the to the <laughs> Cristo Cristo vive, and they're like right there, like yeah. oh, God. that's bro, funny. Bro. Dude. You can see certain people in there are in the crowd, bro, like getting their little shit in, bro. You know, but they shouldn't be doing that, bro. But it's just I don't know. <laughs> that be that be Izo, dog. You know, Izo would be out there. Hell yeah, that'd be me, dog. <laughs> I would I would be right there, like I would look at look at the cameraman first. You know, I, like I'd I be doing this smooth, dog. I'd be like, we about to be by the exit right here. <laughs> it's just crazy, bro. But after that, bro, I had like a, I guess like a dark moment because I felt kind of disappointed and and just everything. So at that age, like 14, 15. Did you feel that it was God punishing you at any moment? Nah, bro. I just felt like, man, fuck this people, you know, fuck these church people, yeah. like fuck. Fuck, fuck this shit. I was doing shit. good shit. They just gonna disown me like that? And, and yeah. it kind of turned me into like going south, bro. Like I just stopped going to church. I started hanging in the streets, started tagging, fucking just, you know, just doing kind of hella, get, like hella ghetto shit, hella hood shit, and then um, getting into trouble and all kind of shit. And, and then like, I just forgot about music, bro. I just like whatever about it. I didn't really care anymore. Uh, even though I still liked it, I would still write songs, but like my homies who I was out in the street, they didn't even know I made music, bro. They, I never told them, you know, like I never, I would never talk about it. I just didn't care about it. And then you until, lost the, the, the want to do it. it was yeah, like, yeah, bro. I, would, I just didn't give a fuck no more, bro. I was just like, man, fuck all this, you know, like I'm yeah. over here. I, my whole life I've been doing this shit and they don't never let us do anything. We can't do anything wrong. Like. You know, we got to live a straight line, but we kids, bro. We, we got, we want to learn. We want to see shit. We want to do shit. So, long story short, it wasn't until I had my son at 18 that I kind of was like, you know what? Let me, let me do music again. You know, like, let me try to do music again. So I started recording shit, but that was at the why, point. Why would you, why would you, why did that come about when you have your son? Because I would think people that when they have a kid or something like that, like that's like, I'm like, Hey, the, excuse me. All the time goes to the kid. Well, yeah, or like, like I, I would just I, I feel like a lot of friends stop the creativity when the kid comes along, but you, it actually helped you start it, bro. I feel like my kid, cause I didn't plan them. It just came out of nowhere, bro. I wasn't even Man, dating. You're just like your brother. I, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what's the crazy part? My brother is actually married to my baby mama wife. You're, well, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. Say the say this. So my th older brother, okay. he, he's married. Oh no 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 no! I'm sorry. To the sister, sister. I can't. Okay, I was gonna say like. I was gonna say you're cool with this. <laughs> no, no, no. no no he's he's married to my 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 girl's sister. Oh so he's your in law now? Like yeah. I yeah. mean well not not your in law but was well, is that considered your brother in law or? Yeah he's, he's yeah. my brother in law brother. Yeah. Yeah. Bro that's those brother squared. Those yeah. some tight ass cousins. <laughs> no cap. No, yeah, bro, that's <laughs> so. So we ended up like um <coughs> with the two sisters and. Uh, Pero la tiene que ser duo también. <laughs> see, my brother to this day, like he he's strongly into God, bro. Like he's he, even he's even though even though like he got that that fallback from the church, yeah, he didn't take it the way you did. Nah, nah. See, I would I, I, I would have been like you fool. I would have been like you know what, I'm finna come back and kick all the candles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I I just. I, when I came back to do music, and when I started doing music, uh, like, um, how can I say, like, non-Christian, I was just coming around doing music that wasn't too deep into, like, how can I say, like, normal, or not or normal, but, like, regular topics, you know, like, sex, shit, like, street shit, or, 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 or like, sexual shit. It was more, like, love songs, because I was trying to transition from the whole, like, God stuff to... And then little by little, I just stopped giving a fuck about that too, bro. And then I just I got deep into like cursing in the music and doing all kind of shit, you know. But it was a little, a little, kind of like a little debate. I'm trying to find find myself just because of the big change from doing a certain kind of music that I spoke about certain things to like doing what people listening to it now, you know. And obviously, my brother, since he wasn't fucking with the whole topics that I was talking yeah. about, he just. Stop, bro. Like, he just... So, you try to bring him in, though? I try to, And what age was this? Like, when did you have your kid? 
18. 18? All right, yeah. so you're still fairly young, and he's like, what, 18 too? No, he's uh, he's <clears throat> three years older than me, so he's like 21. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so he was like... And on top of that, his girl didn't support it, bro. She's very jealous, you know? Okay, My yeah. baby mama, she's not. I mean, she's jealous, but she understands what I'm doing, you know? Yeah. And, like, I don't know, bro. Like, even since I was a little kid, like, before I started rapping with my brother, I was rapping with, like, four homies. They were all older than me. It was like, I was... I was, uh, my brother's three years older. Those dude, those other two dudes were six years older than me. Like, w they would rap with me as a hobby, and we would, like, perform in talent shows and stuff like that at church and stuff like that. But I guess they did it as a hobby, bro. They did it just to kid time. But since I was little, bro, I was, like, eight years old, I really believed that shit. Like, nigga, I want to rap. Like, I really. Yeah. So they all stopped, including them, too, you know? I was the only one that really stuck with it, like, you know? And even to, like, to this day, bro, I'll be thinking about it. A lot of the songs that we did when we was that young, I was writing all the hooks. I was writing some of the lyrics for the homies that were like six years older than me, you know? So it was just always something that was in me, fool. Like music just... You know, you know, I, I stopped fucking with music, bro. Like I was doing Spanish music and I did hip hop for a while, bro. Like I was doing it. And then like, I think, you know what? You know what stopped me from doing this shit? The, what that, that what stopped me is like, when they, you, remember, you remember the SoundCloud era? Yeah. When everybody was looking like a clown yeah, and yeah, everybody yeah, wanted yeah, to yeah. be all this. I just didn't see. I, didn't, I I like literally. I was like, I don't. I don't want to do this shit no more, bro. I was like, if this is what this shit is, I don't want to do this shit no more. Because even if I had a feature from Jesus Christ himself, I was like, they're gonna be, go to Takashi's new video. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro. Because that's just that's just what the wave was, bro. So it's like I just I hung it up. I never. But it's like I had been doing this since I was like around fifteen as well, too, dog. And you know how like the and I loved it too, and I still do. I just you know. I know the writing shit is never leaves you, dog. Because you're always good. You know, if you if you're, if you're a wordsmith, you're always gonna be a wordsmith, no matter what, yeah. dog. But it's like I, I remember I, I I tried the whole group thing too. I was I was working with like three uh, three negritos from uh, Hawthorne, dog. And that's how I got better at that shit, fool. Because those fools were just naturally good at that shit. Yeah. These fools were clown me, dog, in the raps. And I'm just like, I would just go back home. And I was like, man, fuck you, dog. I'm gonna get you back. <laughs> like I was like, but I'm like, this fool was freestyling this shit, and I'm like, yeah, but. I remember doing that kind of shit, bro. So it's like, it's crazy that you, because you actually get into detail in your story, and I appreciate you being so detailed with it, bro. Because sometimes we have artists here, bro. No, you shouldn't even hear dog. We gotta, I'm be like, hey, we're gonna talk about the news then. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, we're gonna talk about the news, bro, because I don't know what the fuck you're on, bro. I was like, you're, you know, you're just gonna, you gotta it, talk about I, I, I try to think of like, every time I'm on camera, bro, whether it's on my phone to try to upload some shit. Uh, I try to think about like as a viewer, what would I want to know? You oh, know? dog, your your last shit's been catchy, dog. Yeah, that yeah, go yeah. mariachi shit yeah. on Oh Figaro. yeah, I was good. Like I was, yeah. I was gonna say hey, so. Let's go to Patreon that's, though, for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah, everybody make that switch to that Patreon. I mean, I know you guys are already on Patreon, regardless. But yeah, make that switch to the Patreon. If not, look out for the link on uh, our stories. Maybe I don't know if you're lucky. Technically, uh, it hasn't been an hour. Oh, there you go. Just well, saying. Just saying. If you still want to go, you can still go. You got him. I don't know, Xavier. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, well, I don't know. how about we build it? How about we build Hunter Biden do? How about we build? How about we build it up? He would do a line right now. Is what he would do. On Patreon or? Yeah, on Patreon. Yeah, right. I think we got to go to Patreon. Just the Hunter fact, Biden. just the fact that you said line for my heartbeat went up. Yeah, yeah, I felt it. Like I was like, like oh my like, god, what the <laughs> fuck, dog? I just and I'm just like, man, I, I hate that, bro. Like I was like, we fucking we put our bodies through abuse. Oh. Yeah. Hey, did yeah. you did, did you wild out like that, bro? Did you get into drugs? Yeah. Yeah? yeah, bro. I was doing a bunch of crazy shit. Not all the crazy shit, but I was doing some some shit. Like what? Yeah. Like like just nosing it or what? Nah, well, obviously nosing it is like you ain't going to fly. That's a given. <laughs> Everybody nosing it, but we was fucking doing coke, fucking. I ain't gonna lie, dog. Like I sniffed some fucking crystal, like two or three times, but it wasn't my thing. But yeah. I tried it. Uh, but other than that, that was it, fool. I tried I it when somebody gave me speed. Instead, I thought it was coke, and I was yeah. like, fool, this shit burns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was I like, this, 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 this. Crazy. I was like, this shit fucking burns. Yeah, bro. Fucking Eddie. <laughs> yeah, bro. But I mean, I feel like that shit kind of comes with like, when you are in the streets, bro, you, you're going to do some shit. Eventually, bro. I seen everybody fool like, in this crazy, bro, you talk about that because like, like all my homies, literally, I know people say this shit a lot, but all my homies, I was thinking about it this year when I turned 30. Um, Actually, I just turned 30 like two weeks ago or like a week ago. Happy, uh, happy belated. Thank you, bro. I was thinking about it. I seen one of my old homies, uh, one of the dudes that did one of my first tattoos. Uh, he just came out of prison. And I just seen him by coincidence. I was meeting him with another homie. 
And then he told me, hey, what's up with this dude? What's up with this fool? That you guys were always together, like. And I told him, honestly, I, I don't know. I haven't talked to him. And he's just like, oh, well, that fool's, you know, fighting life right now. And I was like, for real? He's like, yeah. And he's like, I was thinking about it. He's just like, because I got in touch with his moms. And he's just like, where's that nigga need at? And what what happened? Like, you guys were like this. And I that shit made me think, bro. And I was just like, you know what? Like, when I was out there, uh, while and now, I was always with two dudes. And both of those dudes are doing hella time in jail right now, bro. And I'm like, you know, like, I feel blessed. And and that's one of the reasons, bro, that even to this day, like, back to the, what we were talking about earlier, I still have my faith in God because I feel like a lot of the shit that my homies were doing and that they got caught up for, I was putting them on to doing that because I was going savage in the street, you know? Yeah. I was doing shit. But I was blessed enough that I was able to detach myself from that and not them, bro. So I always believed that my mom, like, she would tell me when I was there and I wouldn't come home for a week or two weeks. She would tell me, I didn't know where you were, but I would be in my knees praying to God. He's just like for you. And that's why to this day I have that belief. Like, you know what? It wasn't so much that I was so lucky. It was that I had somebody watching my back. And maybe a lot of people don't, you know? And um, you're right about <clears throat> you're right about that, dog. I heard a, I heard a lot of fools stop getting lucky after your grandma. Like uh, something that's a saying I heard is like you stop getting lucky after your grandma dies. Yeah, I've heard of that too, bro. And I, I would always be like, you know, and it's I don't like know. you wonder why, and then you're like, his grandma was the only one praying for everybody. She got nothing but time. Exactly, bro. And I, I'm telling you, when I turned 30, I, I thought about it. I looked at, I looked at, it and I was like, you know what? Like, that's crazy, bro. Like, she don't just happen just cause, you know. I, I feel like she don't, don't just happen just cause. So, I'm blessed to be here. I'm blessed to do what I do, and you know, like, hey, them Christians were get those ones. God was feeling them, dog. <laughs> yeah. I was like, he was feeling. Yeah, he yeah. remembers that. Dog. Yeah, yeah, he remembers like, that. Let's give oh, him oh, oh, and back to what he was saying that I put out a song that I put on the thing that I wrote when I was 14 years old. If you hear the lyrics, they're not Christian, but it's very clean. Like it doesn't say anything bad. Like it's very clean. So you know, like a lot of my old music, it wasn't. It was kind of like a love song, um, directed to God. It didn't necessarily say. God, Jesus, in every in every yeah. song, you know, but yeah, bro, fucking um. So what what made you think about putting on that gold suit and getting on Figaro, dog? Okay, look, and this I gotta is, know what, this, I is, this is another I thing. Like, you know, I wanted to I'll talk to you guys about since I grew up in an era where like your talent was mandatory, like. You get on stage, bro. You better perform right. Nowadays, it's not you like you can't. That. You can't. You couldn't. You have to rap on the instrumental. Yeah, not, yeah, not, yeah, bro. Nowadays, it's like. I don't know, bro. I'm not trying to put shade on nobody, no, but a lot, it, bro, of, a lot I, of the shit that's out there is, is trash, it's bro. It's watered down. But the reason why is because the, the, the industry shift. People don't care if you're writing your songs like that no more. Labels don't care about that. Back in the day, an A&R needed to go look for the talent that was in the streets, hot. Like somebody that would get down, that somebody that had lyrics, that had the life, that had the look. Nowadays, bro, labels will make niggas. Um, uh, uh, as long as they have some type of following, bro. industry plants and the criminal record, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. So look, back to what I'm saying is like, um, I've been doing music and I started doing music like trying to do my own shit as Neat Martinez at 21. I just turned 30. It's been nine years until now. I'm getting recognition. Why? It was because I was stuck on. I got to do good music. I got to write the hardest lyrics. I got to come up with the best, catchiest hooks. But now, nowadays, industries doesn't even matter like that, bro. It's all the way you entertain people. And the, re and the thing that I tell, and I tell fellow uh, uh, upcoming artists, I tell them, don't look at yourself as in going on social media, posting something and telling people, hey, go share my shit because you're asking for a favor. You have to make something that is like, by the way, share. share it, but they already like it. So... Yep. Go on your stuff, look at your stuff, and you tell yourself, if I was bored, because you get on social media, when you're not uploading shit, you get on social media for a reason, you, and it's to get entertained. So when you're looking at your stuff, is it something that you're going to be entertaining? Would you something? share this? Yeah, exactly. Would you share this? Would you, you're, share this, you're would like, you watch this? Yeah, if you're scrolling and looking at reels, yeah, whenever you send yeah. this to your homie? And if whenever not, I, I, don't whenever I share something, it's literally genuinely because I clicked on it and I watched the whole thing. Yeah, it's exactly what I'm saying, bro. So I'm like, look at yourself. You know, you won't not, you're not going to lie to yourself. Tell yourself the truth. And if it's not there, then start making stuff that is entertaining. And at the end of the day, whether you're talented or not, if you're entertaining, you're going to 
get attention. Now, if you want longevity, you better have talent. Because, for example, Bat Bunny, he's an entertaining dude. He's very creative and very innovative with his ideas. But he actually has talent, bro. That's why he's out. He's oh, he's uh, he can outshine the rest of the artists and not die out right away. You know. So is it really his ideas, or is it like his people, his creative director? I mean, he could have a creative director or a manager that gives him ideas. But at the end of the day, bro, uh, like him making out with him, him, him making shit. out with the dude and putting dresses on is his fucking idea. Yeah, bro. And you're and not telling a man to do that. You might even fire that yo, fool. You might fire I, that fool for telling you to put look, on the dress. That's why I, I was talking to my son. I was talking to my son the other day. My son's 12 years old, and and I'm like his mentor. I talk to him about every everything and anything, you know. And we were talking about music. He was telling me like, why haven't you grown? And I, or why did you start growing? Like literally, bro, like five, I started thinking about this stuff like five weeks ago. Um, from five weeks to today, I've grown over 20,000 followers. Like, and it was just like, bro, I've been trying so hard to get more attention. Yeah. But in one month I was able to do because, and I told my wife, I cracked the code. I know now what I got to do and how I can grow and how I can get people to listen to me. And it's all like the mariachi suit thing. I told her. I, I already had the suit. I had bought in the suit. We had already done it. I had what, the song. What did you have the suit for? Uh, for the song. <clears throat> okay. Right. But this song was written, recorded, nice and everything. Suit, by the way. And, That's just fire. Thank that, you, bro. That's just hard. In 2019, this song was supposed to come out in 2019. But at that time, I had a manager that was telling me stuff, and I don't know. I just it just fell out, bro. I was never gonna come out with this song no more. It was gonna stay in the closet. I had the suit. I spent yeah. two thousand dollars on the suit. Damn. Uh, I had all this stuff, and I just put it in the closet. And for some reason, bro, I was on social media and I, I clicked on the, I had the art cover for the mariachi song. Um, and I told the people, I'm sorry, like, look, look, this is a project that I never put out. We recorded live instruments on the beat, real mariachi. I played the beat for them. And I was like, this is the beat. I even had a suit and I showed the suit and everybody, bro, started telling me, put it out. Sounds hard. Put it out. Put it out. Even like local artists started telling, telling me, shout out my boy FIFA, by the way. Uh, he told me, hey, you need to take that shit out, bro. That's this. It sounds like very now and it's very advanced ahead of its time. So I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna put it out. So when I did, I started doing little real videos, but then I started thinking like, I need to do something that catches people's attention, bro. Like, and then the whole video is like flashy, the mariachi. And I wanted a video with like girls and cause the song talks about like, I was a broke mariachi and you didn't want to fuck with me. And now I'm balling. Now I'm a rich mariachi. Now you want yeah. to fuck with me. So in the video, I wanted to have girls, bunch of girls, and like just throwing money at them. So I had that idea in my in my, in my head for the music video, but I ended up not wanting to shoot a video. Instead, I was like, I'm gonna shoot a little reel, and I went on Figaro, and I uh, just got a couple of dollars. I only got like 200 bucks. Yeah. And I just walked there with my girl, and I told the girls like, Hey, I told her tell the girls that they want to come out of my video. So my wife went to go tell him. She's my cameraman, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my wife. Um, she goes and she tells the girls, and they're like, cool. And he's like, he's going to throw money at you. And they're like, cool. So she's like, I got out of the car. I ran over there. Bro, just one ticket. Just one take, one take. I told break. her, start recording. Record everything. It doesn't matter. If people come in, it doesn't matter. So I just started throwing the money. Homeless people started running out, picking up the money. That shit made it funny, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what made it funny. <laughs> and then I got one other. Money yeah. bro, bro, I got one other girl. I was like, "Hey, shake your booty for me." And she was like, "Okay, this is why girl that can't shake ass yeah. for shit." But she was down, <laughs> so she turned. She she bent over, shake the ass, and I spanked her. And my girl started laughing. This is why I be telling people, you cannot be with a girl that's gonna slow you down or it doesn't approve or doesn't support what you do because it's just it, you're gonna run with an anchor it's not gonna work you know sooner or later they're gonna that's the best way shit. you could you could say it, running like, with an anchor yeah bro it's just like you're carrying their weight bro and you can't do that i i tell that to my little sister i say the same thing to my older brother i mean like you know if they don't support you bro it's not gonna work bro because you're gonna live in a, in a in a cage bro you're gonna live trapped you're gonna be a different person when you come back home and you're gonna be a different person when you leave home exactly bro and, and 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 I got lucky enough enough that that my girl she 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 supports me. After when I got home, she's like, "You that I slapped that girl in her ass. You got no respect for me." But she said it in a in a in a in a in a, in a, in a laughing way, and I'm like, "Nah, you know we're performing. <laughs> like, we, we doing what we do." But <laughs> but um yeah, bro. That's how I started thinking about social media. That's how I came up with the idea, and and you know like even for the future, you know that's what I'm gonna continue to do uh continue to come up with stuff that that that's trying to that's try try to be as entertaining as i can with any ideas 
not necessarily something some sometimes music it could be like just random stuff at yeah, home that like anybody scared. can relate yeah exactly you know like, like i said him a scare earlier and then i was like man that's just <laughs> yeah, and bro. he's always like you want to do it and i was like yeah <laughs> you know like like the little kid that was like i'm grown i'm yeah. grown like bro you know it's just funny stuff you yeah. see on the internet that goes viral just because it's uh, it's super entertaining uh, like that little kid he's like that little black kid that said, I want a Mexican. Yeah, you see? Mexican. yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. this deal. This fool, they, they took this fool to the Mexico Copa League. He got jersey by La Selección. Really? Yeah. I did not oh, know that. Damn. Yeah, yeah bro. That dude got out. hella love. That, that, that little boy that got hella famous. love. Yeah, his mom's out there like, I guess. Because the, the Castilla kid who was crying? Yeah, fool went famous, famous. Like, he was at the Copa game. And I did not fucking yeah, know that. I was like. Yeah, I, they gave him a little jersey, and he ate Castilla's with the whole squad. That's tight, bro. Yeah, it was pretty, I, I even was like, ah, shout out to that kid. Yeah, bro. So that's what I'm saying. Like, social media is for entertaining. And if you're an artist and you're not entertaining, for those people out there, ah, bro, you're going to have a long, long, long fucking road. It might not be something that at the end of the day you're going to be. Because nowadays, that's what it is, bro. I mean, you brought up Eminem. How entertaining was Eminem when he came out? Yeah, bro. His lyrics... The shit he would say, he was funny, and you were yeah, like, he bro. did not just say that. He was entertaining. Look, at the look, time. look at one of the biggest names right now, like Six Nine, bro. He might his raps may not be credible because he don't he talks about pop 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 nigga. And you know nobody uh, everybody uh, knows uh, him. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Nobody yeah. gonna goody, goody. he ain't gonna do that. You know, <laughs> but and, and not only that, but it's like uh, he might not have the best music out there, but that dude's entertaining, bro. Like. His 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 content on social media ever since he came out is super entertaining and and honestly it's sad and it sucks that the way the industry now is it kind of like water water is watered down and it, and it's not good for the creatives and the real real talented talented to the sport people but you gotta go with what it is bro you gotta be able to evolve and adapt if not you're gonna die out you know so he, he he's not wrong man I was like that's <clears throat> that whole thing is like is hearing that or just i mean it's not known it's not new news to anybody else like to, to anybody out there but here you can hear it a thousand times and it's just gonna take one time for that shit to hit yeah bro yeah because it's you either you either gotta want to make that change and you come to a moment as a as i guess as an entertainer or just in general if you're in the industry you come to a moment where you're just like man i i something's got to change because this ain't working no more mm-hmm Yep, yeah, and it's like uh, you can become entertaining though. I mean, you can develop that skill. I'm like, if you you really gotta put in the amount of work though. Like, if you're an introverted person, you gotta start fucking geez, being an bro, extroverted I'm a, person. I'm a, I'm a prime example of that those that know me, the people that know me, like been knowing me, they know, bro. I'm 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 pretty much the quietest room, uh, person in the room. I don't I don't like to put myself out there. People see like, but I seen you on Figaro, man. Like, you know, like yeah. Bro, yeah, but you know how nerve wracking that was for me, bro. Like how I started sweating, you, bro. You, you like you said you were in the car waiting for your yeah, bro. I'm the in the car, <laughs> like, bro, like, like let let's do this fast, like yeah. you know, like let's do this fast. It's not something that I enjoy, but I understand I have to do it, bro. Like you know, and and, and well, you banked the phone because I thought you were loving it. Yeah, I like, bro. Yeah, I thought I, 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 I thought you were, yeah. You might be a until pit. I met you, I'm like I I didn't know you were like so, I thought you were like a, a little bit everywhere. From like yeah. that video, I was like, "Oh shit, this was very high energetic and all this stuff." Nah, bro, but it's like all. you're a very calm individual. When you came in, I was like, yeah, "Maybe I was bro. like." My yeah. homies always tell me you're boring, bro. We don't like to like uh, invite you out because you're boring. You're falling asleep. You're just quiet. And Xavier would be saying that shit about me, dog. He'd be like, "You're boring." I was like, "Hey, fool, I like getting sleep, bro. Yeah, they come here, dog. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dog? Like, Let's go get fucked up." And, and yeah, even dog. my girl, I don't really like doing much. But I'm not like a person that 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 requires and wants so much attention, bro. Like, I like just doing me, bro. But when the cameras are on and when I gotta do, I know what I gotta do, bro. You know, like. It, it took me long time. I'm telling you, since 21 to 30 to understand that. And just last month or for the past two months, I've actually been practicing that. But for this past time, I was like, my girl would tell me, do a cover. I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to do that. Like, you know, I was very like, I don't want to record myself and sing it and post it. Yeah. I'm going to just record my song, put it out there. People want to, they listen to it. But, ah, bro, like, you got to be in front of the camera. Now these fools need visuals now. Yeah, bro. You they need, need visuals. It's the it's the USA uh, Today generation, uh, dog. They used to do. They we, need I mean, pick. They need pics and fucking. Uh, uh, they, need, they need to be spoon words, to the words uh, with captions on this shit. By the way, fucking captions. I, like, hey, I love captions. I love captions. 
Cause I, so there's sometimes I want that shit on mute and I want to be able to read it. Bro, honestly, on social media, some of the shit that I have with captions had done way better than the shit with no captions. I don't know why. Fool. You don't like captions? I like captions, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I'm saying it's like that's the standard now. You could, you know, you, it would be an option, but it's like now it's like you have to do it just so somebody doesn't sue or somebody doesn't do anything stupid. For the mute, it's for the people that can't hear, dude. Doing it, well, I'm doing it for the disabled people, dog. <laughs> yeah, dog. You're not ex. Come yeah, on. I am, fool. Cool. I'm here for the retards. <laughs> yeah, we're saying it like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> fool, you, you know what has me feeling pretty retarded right now? What? That fucking bagel. Oh. I am fucking shrooming, dog. It is like it is. Oh, your eyes do look a little weird. It is fucking like more intense than the point <laughs> five that fucking Bobo had on there. Fuck you, Bobo. I swear to God, bro. I was like, I don't like this. Will get like so. So Eric Bobo gave me a. We were we were at uh, Denver, and they had just finished doing the Cypress Hill Symphony. It was the first one out there, and Bobo. I think Bobo's already shrooming, and we're in the we're backstage, and then he takes something out of his pocket and just fucking like packet falls off right like this packet it looked like ketchup right but it had like this sticker on there and then he just starts laughing like he picks it up and he was like he's like i don't know what to tell you and i'm just like what is that and he gives it to me he's like it is what it is and he's like you keep it and i was like all right cool so i took it with me and i've had it for like about you flew with it yeah i flew with it like i i had I, what is it I, I had it for like about a week and a half now and today i brought bagels for everybody i was, I was like wondering why you brought bagels Cause no, I had the bagels I, I got like, yesterday. I was like such a generous motherfucker. I didn't give you guys mushrooms. I, I no, was I yeah. know that, but, yeah. you, but you but you brought bagels for a reason. Like oh, I know because you weren't just gonna. No, I, I I bought the bagels and I was like I should just take some for the guys. I'm gonna take some fucking fruit. I was like let's let's fucking change the fucking energy into the into, into the way we start out the show now. So I'm like I brought those with a purpose, and then I I, I saw that I had the little jam right there, and I was like. Man, this shit can't really be that bad. It says micro dose. So I was like, fuck it. We're all making the bagels down there. And I'm just like, fuck it. Put all of it. I already had stopped at half. And I was like, nah. But then I was like, this is micro dose. Ponle todo, wey. Ponle todo. And then I ain't gonna lie. Like, I ate it con tantos guys and shit. And they're like, right now, like, have you ever shown it before? Nah. Oh, that's the one drug you like. That's the one I didn't do. <laughs> but <laughs> but no, nah, it's uh, like, it's like a little roller coaster, bro. Where like, you'll feel it. It'll be like, oh, oh. It's, just, it's like yeah. and it keeps going, but you get able to control it. So you're just like nah, he didn't eat like crazy amount. Nah, but yeah. you do feel a little oh, yeah. the, the waves yeah. where, where yeah. like you kind of feel like you're doing this shit all over again. <laughs> <laughs> but and you seen they're trying to start that at the um, at the at other games like what, what um oh yeah the the, 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 the way oh the, no like, no what were you thinking no uh well Inter's little new fucking little spot their little chanting what what do they call them Inter Miami. No, no, yeah, yeah, that team. But what is it? What do you call 3252s? What, what, what would you call them? The supporting? Uh, their supporting the section? Ultras. Getting, yeah, their supporting section is getting pretty popping. Oh, Miami has one now? No shit. Fucking Messi's there, dog. Of course mm -hmm. they got a supporting chatting room now, dog. And I heard that. And I don't, did they sign Iniesta? I don't know, and I don't care. Man. You know what? Chucky's coming to. to, to I know. Yeah, he's coming to LAFC. You watch soccer though? Or you watch sports? Nah, really. Nah, no sports? Nah, I don't really watch TV. I mean, Netflix a little bit. Yeah, Sometimes what? movies at theater, but not really. Yeah, I wasn't really big into sports for a while, but then it's like, I, you know, we got it, we got into this. I like team. them. I like them. I just don't have the time, bro. I'm always on. Yeah. I'm you still cut on. hair? Yeah. Yeah. I do, I do mobile. Mobile services only. Damn. So, so I'll be driving, bro. Hey, the fools be hitting you up, be like, all right, fool, I need a haircut and I also need a feature. <laughs> nah, nah, <at> <laughs> like be like, yo, I got a, I got a fucking studio here. How much the mobile? It depends, bro. It depends the area. But I start like how about seven, a, how like about seventy five, and then it goes up. How much to cut Xavier's yeah, hair? How, how 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 much to Glendale? We gonna do a fade to the beard? Light me up. Like a hundred. That's not that much more than I already paid. I get to kick it at the pad. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he, does, he doesn't have AC, bro. A lot, of the, a lot of the people that I cut, bro, are like people that either they have a job where the time they come out, barbershops are closed, or they own a business and they rather they have to be there. So you know, it works out for them. It's, it's, it's best. Is for them. that really who I was wondering? Because I'm like, I, I would imagine it's a lot of people that Dark. they probably they they have they have to be looking fresh at this time because. There's one barbershop that, that that I go to just to get my like whenever I grow up my beard, I'll go get it dressed up, and I know that I I leave. 
the gym at like seven and they're already open and it's like i'm, I'm noticing that there's a trend that certain barbershops are starting to get hip to that some of them will open up at 6 30 bro and be like hey the fucking oh. troquero that's coming in here he wants to come over here and look fresh and yeah. then and then that trucker will go tell like 10 other truckers because that's a small community it's not like your regular oh. motherfuckers uh, you know yeah. who i makes you know who does get a lot of mobile or families oh, yeah because yeah. if you have kids dog you know how long you're waiting at the barbershop for? That's expensive, though, bro. Yeah, like, they, think about it. I was like, if you have three kids, bro, I was like, that's $300. Yeah. Well, you, you make money when you have kids. You find a way, dog. Yeah, you got to, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you that's don't. true, right? I never thought about it. Like yeah, bro. I mean, I, I mean, some people don't. They are. They, they hooking it up with um the county building. But <laughs> shit, you know? Yeah. I mean, well, what's the craziest thing that has happened on a house call for you? Have you had any crazy uh, story like that? I mean, not really crazy stories, but really famous? but, but I, I I cut a couple of, like celebrities, oh, so like it's crazy, bro. Because even to this day, like people be like, "Oh, you know this dude? Why don't you tell that fool to sign you or to do?" You know? uh, they think it's that easy, huh? Some people, bro. Like one thing is one thing, another thing's another. But like these people eventually found out that I do music organically. I've never been the type of be like, "Hey, bro, I do music," you know? Because I feel like. It comes off the wrong way. Like this, this I mean, was, like this was a, this was like a like a leech or like a like a he wants something. He's here for a reason, you know. But I go, I do what I do. Uh, I give him good uh, customer service. I talk to them. We have conversations, and we build a relationship, friendship. And then afterwards, they find out like, hey, what's your social media? And then, oh shit, you do me. Oh shit, I fuck with you. Or sometimes they just you know uh, find out on their own. And and it, I feel like it's better. Because I'll, I'll tell you right now, bro, it's free game. And I'll tell you guys, it, it, ain't, it ain't a secret. You, The worst thing you could do if you want to become friends with a rich person is ask for a favor. Yeah. Like yeah. literally, the like I'm not saying or like rich. Yeah. I'm saying rich, successful, whatever it is. That is the worst, worst thing that you could ever do because rich people don't fucking do favors, bro. They help you out when they want to because yeah. they know when the position when they're at already, bro. So it's like. You get like, especially if you're like, like while people say it's like, oh, hey, just tell that fool to sign you. Yeah, I'm like, bro, you think he's just waiting? Yeah. You think he's waiting for like, oh, I wonder where I'm going to fucking put my money today. Yeah. Like, that's not how it fucking works, oh, bro. Yeah. And no, because there's a lot of people, they really think like that. Like a lot of people would be like, hey, bro, like, like, how come you don't just tell me real to take you on tour? I'm like, bro, there's money in that fucking shit, bro. Like, yeah. I'm just, you think it's that easy and all the, that shit? Like, it we doesn't were, work that way. In, in a comedy way, in a comedy way, the other day we were in the green room. And uh, there's two headliners there, and they're trying to figure out how much time they should do. And then the guy that they just blessed to do some time that they just met, that they, that they just met, through the DM this guy, hey, who's like, hey, I'm a comic in the, in the city. You can't go up. They're deciding how much time I should do, how much time they should do. And then he decides, if you guys need anybody to do any more time, I could do more time if you guys don't have anything. That's what he said. I'm like, did you just tell the headliners that you could do more time, as in, like, that's how much they can't do two, three hours? Damn, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I think you kind of explained, uh, or maybe you know what I meant, though, right? Like no, no, I kind of, I don't know, X. I kind of got confused. You mean like he asked for more? Yeah. So we're in the green room. Okay. And then they give me fucking ten minutes. Okay. And then there's a host. He does his ten minutes, and then he hosts us. Okay. And there's a random guy that kind of is from the city. Okay. From the city that you know, like how a regular. Like a, this guy came in the green room. He's like, "Hey, I'm the local comic." Yeah. And then they kind of figure it out. Usually, like, hey, you want yeah. some time? And then he, they're like five minutes. And then the two headliners yeah. are deciding about how much time they should do. They're kind of bickering, battering. And then the guy thought that they didn't have enough time. And he's like, just by the way, you know I can do more than five minutes. I can do 10, 15 if you need. Damn. And they all, they looked at me and they almost took him off the fucking whole show. Because they were like, yo, you don't think we could do fucking more time? Like, we, I don't know. I don't know if you understood what I meant, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah now I understand. It was just now. like, it's just like rude. Like, they just, they're already doing you a favor. You should be you're happy gonna, with what you're giving. Yeah. yeah. Just shut up. And he, and I was like, if anything, I'm the one who should have said that. Yeah, yeah, like, you're like, yeah, like, yeah, you're like yeah, yeah. all the way at the bottom of the totem pole. And you, you think you're the one that decides that's going to But you're like waiting because you're like, hey, bro, I know how this shit plays oh. out. You got to like fucking let it play out. If this fool's fucking like not going to try this new joke and he's already headlining, whatever. That means there's an extra five minutes and he decides what's going to happen. And the reason I'm upset is because low key, those five minutes he took. They were yours? Yes, dog. <laughs> I did 10 minutes. I thought I was doing 15 and I get them like you're doing 10. I was, you know how you already drove yeah. there, so. <laughs> I drove two hours and shit. Like, was it better than the yacht? No. Damn! Uh, the bitches were fine on the yacht, dog. Damn. You went to the yacht? Huh? You went to the yacht? Nah, I didn't, but I saw Instagram. You saw pictures? Yeah, I saw pictures. Dog. Hell, all right, first of all, did you get in trouble? 
Like, did you get any nah, kind of I not had, any kind of repercussions? Like, no, nah, I was just I had to go to Katana's. So you had to make up for it. Yeah, I went to Katana's and brunch in the morning. Damn, that's at least like six hundred dollars. Yeah, and I picked her up after the yacht. Damn, is, is she that expensive, dude? Huh? It was, it was her birthday. Still, her birthday. The, you know, he's he's oh, one that, yeah, he's one that you have to. He's one that you have to. Well, I mean, it's not that you have to, but it's just like I already know the kind of place you be taking your girl out and all this shit. It's like it's well, I'm like trying to get papers, dog. <laughs> I'm trying like, to get citizenship, dog. She is legal, right? Yeah, five hundred. Oh, yeah, five hundred bucks ain't nothing to get papers. I, think. I, I, I meant legal is in U.S. Everybody, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, no, because there was somebody in the chat. Yeah. Gonna say, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that is, I don't, I hope they, this, I hope they, you, you, you actually do get some papers out of this, <coughs> but more, more than less, I hope that you get happiness out of it. Yeah. yeah I need papers to be happy. <coughs> <laughs> nah, but it's a, it's kind of oh, like, you know the, how scary it's kind of like, the, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the person with the broken spirit that says, all I need is just some money and everything will come. Nah, bro, you need to heal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. Sometimes like that's not what you really need, bro. Like, for example, hey. like like for maybe maybe out of this, you're gonna realize that you need the happiness and the papers come with it because you realize that oh shit, I need companionship. Hey, yeah, you really that's a, that's a deep topic too, bro. That's a deep, deep I mean, because uh, because it, it's deep. Everything's deeper than what it is when like you're like after a certain age, bro. You're not getting lucky. And you're not out here just fucking no more, bro. Like the people you meet come to your life for a reason. Yeah, you know, know what I mean. Like you come for like you need balance at some point, bro. After 25 or you're close to your 30, bro, like. You're hurting from something, dog. You're good. like, you know, I don't know what it is, but your check engine light starts coming on. And and if you if you let it go from 30 to 35, you can make it. The oil change will last you 6,000 miles up before you're down the road. 35 and up, all right, bro, shit starts getting deeper. You start crying for no reason. She, you start feeling aches and all that shit. So the people that you meet, bro, like, they're puzzle pieces to help balance you out. And sometimes a lot of us are stupid enough to, like, Push not people out. like like to be like or maybe be too self-centered and be like oh i don't need this person but it's uh -huh. like hey that's the person you needed to heal even if you weren't gonna be with them tied down forever you still needed that experience mm. and then shit gets worse and then some of us take that chance and then we 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 were like oh damn like like i've been missing out on this shit for a long time yeah like you find a different kind of balance that's true bro i feel that's like true. that's why i'm afraid to have a kid bro i don't want to have that moment where i'm just like fuck i gotta eat everything i said <laughs> like yeah. you know what I mean? Cause now all the emotions are like I feel that's like I'm like I'm. I'll be you got like, kids? No. Nah. No. Nope. Yeah. No. Nah, that's crazy. Bro. I had kid, being a kid, kind of. Yeah, I was gonna say eighteen. Are you having a kid? Yeah, twenty one. I had a three year old. So it was. It, it, Your it kids made, in high school right now? Then. No, my kids in middle school. Middle school. Middle school. Yeah, he's twelve. He's he's gonna be twelve. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. Cause he, 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 I'm not that tall, so the dude is like right here. You know, it's <laughs> like he wants to you hey, but, right here. But like it's, it's kind of cool that you're there in a in a in a in, a, in your kid's life to kind of um, uh watch it, like be there, like like in a, and like not in a peer kind of way, but just understand the shit. There's not that big. Yeah, of, yeah, There's yeah, not yeah, that yeah. big of a. I gap, just had bro. a conversation with my mom like two days ago about that. I told, I tell him like, my son sees me like I'm still in the loop. Like I I know the music is Lin Su. I know the, the 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 dress code or the the style la yeah. moda that's on. I know the artists that are popping. I know like the the the, the public figures, Instagrammers, TikTokers. You know that that are popping. I understand. You know like I'm in the loop. Um. So me and him like we we we, we how can we say we click a lot because of that reason. You know it's it's a blessing. You know it's it's cool. It is hard being a young parent. Um, because like what you say, you got to watch a lot of the stuff you do. Like when we talk off camera, like I had, I stopped smoking. I stopped, uh, drinking. I stopped saying so many bad words around him. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I still say him, yeah. but I try not to. And I try, I eat better. Like, like I, growing up, I was very like, I don't know if you guys know what it is, but like melindroso. Like I didn't like to eat vegetables. Oh, me too, dog. And when I had my kid, I told you him, tell. Hey, you gotta eat your vegetables. <laughs> You gotta eat your vegetables. He would tell me, I was like, saben, saben rico? And he'd be like, a ver? Cause I taught, I, cause I taught, I, oh, that's another thing. I taught my kids only Spanish till they were like five, only Spanish. And now they actually speak Spanish pretty good. My son does acting and a lot of the commercials he's done are being cause they want him for the Spanish. So it's actually, 
a good thing, bro. That's Teach your kids Spanish, bro. You Latino, bro. If don't not, have no shame on you. Kid. Yeah, I don't have no sabo ass kid, dog. That's tight, bro. Because honestly, yeah, yeah like I, I thought about that too. Because if it wasn't for my grandma, like raising me, because my mom was always at like, work. I mean, she would always come home, but like you know, my grandma was at home. So like we were fortunate enough to have my grandma around. Like my grandma was old school, so like my grandma had me reading a Silibario. Okay. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, is that what you call it, right? The, the so, syllabus? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, she had me reading some shit from El Salvador and just all this shit in Spanish. So it's like I I learned how to speak uh, Spanish first, bro. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I remember English. I picked it up very very quick, but it was because it was on TV, it was on the radio. That's what people tell me. Like, oh, you're gonna like. I had people like we had debates. They tell me, oh, you only showing your kids Spanish. They're gonna be on ESL, bro. Like they're gonna have trouble learning English. And I tell them, bro. I was raised with parents that didn't speak no English and I could speak it pretty well. Like I know yeah. how to read it and write it. So why wouldn't my son be capable of doing the same thing, bro? And just how I said it, like when my kids uh, finished, we became by, the translators. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like for real, bro, for after parents? kinder, the kid don't know how to speak English. If he doesn't speak any English by kinder, cause I, you put on a head start TK kinder yeah. by the third year, they speak fluently, but no accent. But when my son started, his first uh, school, which was a Head Start program at three years old, he would tell me, ¿Qué dice la señora? Because he didn't know nothing, bro. <laughs> He'd be like, Papi, ¿qué dice? Hey, and bro, that's how I came in here. When I crossed yeah. the border, I came in at three. And okay. Me echaron a, <laughs> ¿Qué, me, ¿qué dice? Me echaron yeah. a Head Start. Yeah. ¿Y ¿Qué dice? ¿Y qué? Y mi, ma, y mi mom tampoco. Yo yeah, tampoco bro. no sé ni qué yeah. dice aquí. Yeah, well, bring bro. the homework over shit in English. Yeah. Your mom's like, yo, what? I, we can do math? Yeah, bad, bad. Those, those, those is always four. Yeah, bro. But I'm telling you, like, like in in my kids, think, like I'm, I have a strict uh, rule in my house: no, no English, no yeah. English. And Damn. My, I tell my kids, si los si los veo este hablando inglés, voy a meter un coscorrón. So cuando los veo ahí, I just walk like, mm, nigga, like. <laughs> like, bro, even, when they're, <laughs> even when they're speaking to each other yeah they're oh, not allowed you sound like my mom yeah they're not mom, allowed yeah. bro yeah. That's what my, that and the, the reason house. why my yeah. older son he would tell me but you understand and he would cry and i'll yeah. tell him doesn't matter bro like i i have the rules here when you get older <laughs> you're gonna thank me and now that he's older and he's gotten the commercials they pay him 1500 yeah 500 or whatever yeah and um i show him his bank account because we put him in his bank account yeah. uh he's happy bro and then I'm like, I told you, bro, like your pops <laughs> is hooking you up when you thought I was in, I was being, I was a, being hater. a hater. Yeah. I was like, bro, I, 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 I've told you this, like, you know, so, so like, that's what I'm saying. Me and him have a, a cool relationship because he understands and he sees that a lot of the stuff, a lot of the stuff that I've said in the past, have actually like worked out the way I told him. So, so yeah, bro. Um, that we got to want to cut, um, now? Yeah, we could go ahead and cut cut the Twitch. I was like, "Do you want some water, dog?" Uh, yeah, I'll we'll sure. get you some water. Yeah, I'll get you some water. But yeah, take over the game. Show yeah, for no, sure. but even, even like with Pete, with like you being, I guess being like a, that's a big part of being a dad. It's like or being a parent in general. I'm not a parent, but I remember those moments where certain shit that my parents said. There was like masa las gracias después. Yeah, and I fucking I remember dog because that's the reason I ain't never been to jail. Thank God. Cause my oh, every time I think about it, I was like, it's "Cause you knew the limits, got on." And thanks for tuning in to the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. <laughs> now we're going to the Patreon. Oh, now it's that? toxic. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh fuck. No, oh. but he's on right, dog. You know how often my dad says, "As me caso." Yeah. As me caso. Yeah. Ca no le caso. Got a DUI. Yeah. Yeah. Parents know best, yeah. bro. And he, he and you know what was the worst part? To this day, I was so upset. You know, I got, I got a DUI, and my dad always told me, no manejes, no tomes. He's like, wherever you're at, just let me know you're there. And you, you know, no hace caso. You know, you start drinking. Yeah. And I, I wasn't wasted, but I had a couple beers, 4th of July. I get a DUI, get pulled over, and I tell my homies, I'm like, don't tell my parents. How old were you? Like 19. I, I was like, uh, yeah, I wasn't even 21. So I wasn't even drunk. I wasn't wasted. I just blew over the limit. Uh, I was supposed to blow 000, zero, zero because I'm... You were supposed to not wasn't even wasted. I'm like, not supposed to have anything. Anything. And the cop was like, I'm sorry, dude. I was like, I just had two, three beers, homie. And he's like, Alice Verga, like you should listen yeah. to it. Oh, I was like, so oh, whatever. And I, I tell my homie, like, don't tell my fucking parents. And my, my, my homie's like, yeah, yeah, I won't tell my I won't tell your parents. Whatever. I get in the fucking fucking stupid fucking cop car. 
they tow my truck. My homies end up, you know how your homies are like, well, whatever the cop tells you, well, find out, find how to get home. These folks get an Uber or someone picks them up, and I get, I go to the jail. You know, they make me take off my T-shirt. They're like, what's your tattoo? Is it gang related? Yeah. No stupid fucking question. I was like, you know that shit's not gang related. But you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and um, so I'm there, dog, and I get one phone call. I call my mom. I'm like, what's up, mom? She's like, ¿Dónde andas? Aquí, en Huntington Beach. Are you coming home? No, ando con una vieja. Uh, <laughs> al rato llego. Ahí le dice a mi papá que al rato llego. My mom's like, okay, pues, cabrón. Ahí te cuidas. Te quiero mucho. <laughs> and I'm like, whew. This fool had already snitched me out, dog. <laughs> my mom already knew, dog. My mom already knew I was in jail. My mom. Because oh, yeah, my, hom my homie beat me to my house. Uh, and my homie got there. And my dad was like, Donde está Javier? And my homie was like, dude, your dad's scary, bro. And like, your dad is like, and I just spilled the beans like a little bitch. Instantly, <laughs> dog. I was like, está en el, está, lo Era un DUI, valió verga. Está en el bote. Está en el bote. My dad's like, lo van a deportar al pendejo. Uh, Le dije que no tomara y pisteara. Ah, que pendejo, whatever. So I'm in jail, dog. And I, I just went to the beach, dog. So I got like, got beach attire, dog. Chunks. I got a tank top. Damn. And I'm in the drunk tank, so I'm fucking freezing, oh, dog. Yeah. And that shit's full, so everybody already took the toilet paper for fucking, for like, for like, for whatever, for whatever dog. You know, so I'm freezing my ass off there. I'm yando pedo. It's just scary, bro. I think I'm getting deported. Some Damn. paisas, some paisa paisas are there that they don't even speak English, my boy. So at one point, they're like, Fulano, Fulano. Paisa's names. I could say Juan or Jose, but I don't even know what their names were, honestly. I was too worried about me but they get up and they tell them to leave and they never came back so i was like fuck los deportaron i'm next yeah valiendo verga and thank god no nah, i was out of there in like 10 hours they let me out damn. but the whole time i'm in there i'm like dude, me va a poner una puta cagada, mi papa. damn he's like he's gonna he's like dude i'm not gonna hear that and he's like te dije no sé qué tanto dog i'm waiting and i call my homie because i get my phone back and i'm like hey fool come pick me up yeah Told you to pick me up. I knew how they were gonna let me out. And he's like, Don't trip. We're like down the street from the jail. And I fucking pull up. Yeah, my dad's there with my homie, dog. And I look at my homie like, I just wanna square up with this for him. Like, oh, I told you to do one more fucking thing, dog. And my dad, my dad, we went to go take my truck out, out the impound. We paid like the fucking, you know, the 1500 to get the truck out the impound. And then, uh, and then me and my homie get in my truck. And my homie drives by himself. And my homie was like, talk to my homie like, should have listened to your dad. My dad never told me nothing. We got back to the house, nothing. A year later, I asked him, I was like, hey, por no me cagas el palo? And he's like, bro, you sat in jail for eight hours. I think you played exactly what I was going to tell you a thousand times in your head. I was like, you're the only thing I was worried about. I didn't even care about getting deported. I was more worried about like, te dije pendejo. Damn. And it was those things like, you got to listen to your parents, bro. That was the one where it was you lit and like, yeah, you don't listen. Like, you don't could have gotten to jail. I could have got deported for not listening to my dad. Fool, me for real, for real. You tripping, huh? Me perdí. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> like, I was tripping, huh? <laughs> nah, I, I, I'm... <laughs> I was I was just talking to Dom about everything right now, but it's like I I, I did start to feel it. I was starting to go away now, finally, for the most part. Huh? The waving part, yeah. Like right now, I'm just feeling like you know how you just you just feel like you're just floating on a steady river. It's like you're just chilling. That's how I feel right now. My brain's like that. How do you get your kid into acting? Did you want to sing too? Yeah. Did you, uh, yeah. Well, did you well, show him that kid in the George Lopez show? Yeah, that could be you. Nah. Oh, that, yeah, that kid. That kid's going on. Uh, well, <clears throat> my son. He would watch a lot of uh, YouTube when he was little, and he would watch a lot of like little YouTubers. I have videos, bro, of this dude because he, he has like that Instagram. Ryan kid. Like kind of, bro. Like there's other little like hate that kid. Dude, Why do you hate that Ryan kid, bro? It's just not entertaining to watch other kids open toys. That's, yeah. but it is <laughs> to other kids. Watch. It's your yes, he has. I guess it's the main people that watch him are little little kids, bro. They oh, just okay. want toys. But like older kids don't really fuck with him, bro. Like yeah. my, son, my kids don't listen. Yeah, well to he's, he's past that demographic. Yeah. So um, what I was saying is like my my son when he would do a lot of videos, bro, and he would he knew what to say. He'll record himself on my phone. I would watch him because I'll be going through my gallery. I'm like, hold on, click on this. 
And then dude's like, what's up, guys? It's me again. Remember, <laughs> remember, to, he's like, remember to subscribe, hit the bell button for post notifications. Or sometimes, yeah. bro, he knew what to say, bro. Or sometimes I'll go on it and I'll trip out because this was like, what's up, guys? It's, it's, his name is Tito. Literally yeah. T-I-T-O. That's his real name. And he's like, it's, it's Tito game with a new banger video. And for bro, like, <laughs> how old was this, bro? For like six. And, yeah. and bro, bro, I'll show you, bro. It's hilarious, bro. You still have these videos? Bro, I'll play them right now. You'll be like, what the fuck? And this was without you knowing it? Like, he was bro, just... he just had it in him, bro. Like, yeah, he just was... watched it and he knew how to do it. He wasn't shy, bro. Look. Like, it's going to be your kid. Look, watch, that, watch, watch. It's like watch. the iCarly generation. It's going to be like your kid. Hey guys, I'm high and I'm hungry. JK, I'm not high, but I am hungry, just like my dad. <laughs> if I had a kid, if I had a kid, if I had a kid, he, he will start his video. He's be like, I found my dad's fucking gummy bears. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one knot, go to one knot. We're going to be selling shit on one knot. All right. Kids start shooting your kids' videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, race fucking kids starts filming my kids' videos. Look, 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 look. My kid's trying to get your kids, like, somehow laid. He's like, you ever seen pussy? He recorded this himself? His mom. And put the subscriber button and to break it. If you have a computer on laptop. Man, that fool's hype, dog. I wish I had that kind of energy when I was a kid, bro. I mean, I, I mean like now. I had it when I was a kid. Even if you have a TV, I'll say you like this. Look at my shoes. Look at my shirt. Welcome back, everybody. What's going on, everybody? So, who cares? <laughs> Hey, that's yeah. that's all right. So, uh, so, and this was done commercials, bro. So when we saw that, we were like, we gotta keep recording him. That that was when his mom was like, we need to start making an Instagram, and, and you know, he probably he probably do some 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 good stuff, you know. So we started doing that, but it's hard, bro. It's hard to like Auditions. record him, no, record him, edit videos, and you know, it's it's a yeah. whole ass job, you know. So we kind of slowed down with that, and then I guess his uh, his mom and and then we're driving in a car one day, and they heard it on the radio, like, oh, it was a commercial, like on the radio. Like, oh, si quieren que su hijo sea a this, Disney Channel, ah, aquí es el número, ah. So we took him to the school. Um, he did a class for, like, a couple weeks. At the end of the class, they had to do an audition, and they were going to, like, send it to the eight biggest agencies here in California. And at, if they liked them, he, they would get a call back. But in the school, they will teach them everything that they needed to know. And then on top of that, they'll tell the parents, like, you got to make them something called, like, I think it's called a Kudigan account or something like yeah. that. To have their money, they'll tell us like, oh, from every check, this is how much money you guys mandatory by law have to have in that account. So they they you up with everything, you know, ready for they the coach job, you. ready for the yeah. job. So if you book a show, you don't have. I mean, you book a a a, a job, you don't have to go and make because you got to get a works permit from the school and from the city for the kids. You got to do all this stuff that sometimes people don't know, you know. So the school teaches you all of that and teaches the kid how to be in front of camera and all of that. And like a whole crew, and, and they they brought them like some celebrity guests, yeah. and they will give them input and stuff like that. So they'll build like a resume for the kids, portfolio pictures, and all of that. So at the end, they 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 have to do an audition, um, record a video, doing an, a, a a performance or an act that they ask for, and they send it to the 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 agencies. If they like them, then you'll get a call back, and they'll they'll tell you if, you know that that they want to sign your son, and then you have to take a decision. There's potentially eight companies that can call you you know so when my son did that at the end he had four agencies that wanted to sign him so um we did our, in, our investigations on them and we ended up choosing one it's called offspring that's the, the the company that he signed to and then they just hit him up oh we have this commercial for you send your audition you need to do this so we read the script he has to send the video if they like it they book the job if they don't well then on to the next one but that's pretty much how it works bro you're you're all, you're obviously present at all times during these things right his mom Okay, Mainly. his mom is, yeah. yeah. I've taken him to, like, two auditions, but his mom is the main one that be, like, on them about that. Like, record yourself. She's, to, like, recording him to send the auditions, emailing the agent or texting them. You know, she's the one that's more hands-on with that. But, yeah. Damn, that's, that's you know, it's crazy. Somebody uh, brought it up, but um, what is it? When we were talking about it off air, you said you saw the movie, the, the controversial movie, Sounds of Freedom. And yep. it, and it's kind of like somebody was like, this is kind of how Sounds of Freedom started with the the whole go to the school kind of thing. Like, yeah, did, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That did that trip you out? Um, when they when when he had to go to school, because you know how like it's a good way to kind of like you're obviously trying you're trying to be there for your kid. And you're trying to put him in a different career. Obviously, you know you you know the game and you're. 
trying to put him on that path but then you look at a movie like that and you're just like thank god i really kind of have been there the whole time and all this shit yeah you know? like it, that's what i'm saying like even with the when the you go to commercials you have to be there um for the school though yeah they after i think because you got to go obviously you meet people you got to know i think after the first one you got to leave your son at like actual school for a couple hours so like to the sounds of freedom now that i think about it and I kind of understand why the parents will leave their kids, you know, because yeah. it's kind of dumb. You're like, you don't know you're going to drop off your kid with a stranger. But now that I remember, like, even with that, you have to take them. It's kind of like, like going to school. Yeah. So they, I, that's probably what they did. Because for the people that haven't seen it, that's what they, that's how they get, they will get the kids. It's also a scam though. Yeah. Like, in yeah. A way, it's a good, that, it's a good scam. No, but for a while it was, yeah. they, I uh, think now with technology and the fact that people can research shit right away, people can fucking, it's it's harder to pull those kind of scams on people. Like they would have those kind of scams for acting, bartending school. Uh, what is it like bodybuilding? They will, it would be the same fucking kind of scam. Yeah. No, and they also get you for the school. I mean, I remember, yeah. I remember they told, uh, they're at the, I think my mom was at the mall back in like, like the nineties walking by the mall and they stopped my mom. They're like, your daughter's so beautiful. She could be a model or like an actress. And they gave her this number and this little website for my mom to go for my sister. Audition. It was Jeffrey Epstein. Gave <laughs> 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 you the guard. Uh, and then, uh, so my mom took my sister and my sister auditioned and she was good, but not good enough. So she, she took these classes. She'd be good to go. Pinchy's classes in mil dollars. And no sé qué tanto. Yeah, my parents yeah. were like, yeah, nah, if she was good, you guys would pay for the classes. Yeah, that's how they get. That's how they get. This would have lobby out, bro, to get you in there. Yeah. yeah. And if you have no fucking common sense, sometimes fucking you know, hustle get, your ass. They gonna pull your pants down and let you have it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, yeah, bro. bro. You gotta really know what it is. It's like if you, it's almost like if we like us being in the position that we've been it's like bro if i had a kid and something like that like bro i'd be like ray is this a reputable because ray's a film major i'd be like ray is this a, is this even a fucking uh, a reputable sag type of shit like can you look this up is this credible yeah is this credible because i'm like I, I have i would have homies that i'd be like can you look this up bro i was like you know obviously you know work around uh people that that that, that uh you know that are celebrities and even more famous and they have kids that are in this kind of business so you you can ask them around and be like, you know, like, I'd be like, hey, bro, like, what's up? Are they trying to scam me or what? I yeah, would, yeah, yeah. Even you got to do your due diligence. What, like, I was telling you, my son signed to a company in Offspring. I have a client that he has uh, uh, one of his closest homies. His son's an uh, uh, actor, too, like a young actor. So he told me about that company. So I already knew about that company. So when that company came and, and we had the meeting with him, I, I, I was already aware of what they did and, and the kind of stuff they do. So I had done some research, research on them. Yeah. I already had, like, some... Some from like a close person that I know is trustworthy, like you know, some some good intel on it. Ray, what's up with that sack shit? What about it? Well, I don't They're know. On what strike, about fool. It? I don't know. Is it? Is this? Is, how long <laughs> see, is it gonna last? You see, Ro you see, Rolling Stone was talking shit about Snoop Dogg. <laughs> he canceled the thing. He was like, oh, he yeah. canceled the shows, but it has nothing to do with the strike. And I'm like, nothing to do with the strike. He had. He, what's the strike about? Like, you guys love. He's been. It's about. Money. It's about money. You guys love movies. I just have no idea. I really have no idea. I just. It's about it's about money, dog. It's about money. It's always gonna be about money. All these big ass studios like Warner are, Brothers, are they gonna Universal, win Disney, they don't want to pay the people. They don't want to pay the fair share, and it affects everybody in the industry from <sighs> writing to makeup, anything. So are they gonna win? Gator Gator explained it pretty well the other day on the Dr. Green Thumb podcast. I was sad I missed out on the interview. It was pretty. Yeah, you would have been cool if you were there too. I'm a big fan of his. Yeah, yeah. So that's what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it just it, it makes me feel weird though because like I mean I'm not like in that industry right but like yeah. it's like dude all right you're gonna get this money right which you deserve because you put in the hard work you put in the hours you put in the overtime are you gonna write better shows are you gonna produce better better shit well they keep doing the shit that they've been doing because honestly Disney. the shit that comes out nowadays is is shit compared to I'm Batman. tired of seeing the Latino show talking about fucking uh we're gonna save the taco shop bro or save some kind of restaurant like hey but we're always trying to save something why can't we just fucking live you hear about the new, the new Snow White <laughs> she's black Snow White doesn't isn't gonna have dwarves no have midgets dwarves. no midgets and then the midgets are not even the same color they're all different colors and then she doesn't get saved by the the by the prince 
That's He's tight, like, bro. How many, like they're gonna be different midgets? Well, no, there's no midgets at all. Oh, but you said the midgets are gonna be different colors. Well, the midgets that were supposed to be midgets. Oh, the people who are gonna be representing yeah. the, the midgets. Yeah. People forget that a lot of the first like animated Disney films were based off of like fairy tales. Fairy tales. And the fairy tales were like far more like brutal and, and graphic than Disney. Like there's no way that that um Walt Disney would ever get away with like that version of the fucking fairy tale. What's wrong with midgets? I, I, they were probably not midgets. I don't know, bro. I don't really. They were I, I never, I never really looked into it like that. But hey, does you, did you have to get your kid into like SAG and stuff? Nah. Like they don't have that for like kids. Nah. Like, uh, hey, do you feel faded, fool? Nah. Like, you, like I was gonna ask you because I'm like, you've been around a lot of smoke, but you said you haven't smoked in a while. Nah, but you... I, I, I be around it, bro. Even when I work sometimes, uh, yeah. dudes be hot boxing the shit up, whatever, and right? cutting them up, bro. Yeah, so you just kind of like. I, I sometimes I do walk around like, feel a little head change, but not really. <laughs> not really. I guess you'll know yeah. if you stop by and get some tacos or something. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> you go. <coughs> I be like, bro, I got the munchies, bro. Just go a little sooner than you, usual. You know what's crazy? When scientifically, dog, when you when you smoke <coughs> the way we fucking smoke, it's like consistently. Like it's like you would think this is enough, right? Yahweh, ya parale. I'm like, no, I have to, I have to do another show, you know, but Dr. Green Thumb, and I have to do a two to four, and that's another fucking full of ashtrays, and then I, you know, so I'll still go home sometimes. I still fucking blaze it. And all that shit, you, you think, don't feel like like sleepy or you, tired. Yeah, I, I, I get my sleep and stuff like that, but it's like I feel like it's very true when you smoke like this much where you kind of like abuse it. All those little side effects that you look forward to getting high at first, it don't hit you the same. Like I, like this shit doesn't really build the appetite for me. I eat because my body needs food. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, like or like uh, the the anxiety or, or all, all the shit that you all the, the giggles and all this shit. It doesn't. I I, I, I no burnt more. those sensors already, bro. There's like, hey, this is too much. Everything's a haze. Nah, dog, I felt like that when I got in the human, the human bomb. Oh, uh, that shit, man. <laughs> well, smokes a lot, dog. I felt high school high. His name's not Sir. It's Earth smokes a lot. Earth smokes a lot. Yeah, yeah. Earth smokes a lot. Earth. I thought you called him Sir smokes a lot right oh, now. Earth, yeah. like the Earth, like the yeah. planet. Nah, nah, I heard something different. Oh, uh -huh. well, English was my second language, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I I don't know. I, I, I but then again, how much do you fucking blaze it though? Not as much as you guys. Not even close. That's exactly what I'm like saying. I smoke like an ounce, like an ounce a week. Really? Yeah, maybe a little over. Nah. For sure, I need an ounce a week. That's how much you're going through, and that's like you sharing it. No, that's just me. Oh, damn! I don't know, man. I never. I must. I'm gonna probably document this soon. I'm gonna how probably. Much you spoke? I don't. I, I wouldn't. Like I maybe. wouldn't measure it by the by the ounce anymore, bro. Because it's a it's a lot, bro. You want me to turn the AC on? Yeah, no, that's cool. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. A yeah, guys. Yeah. I was like, um, <clears throat> I feel if I were to measure it, dog, because I usually like when I get a pound, I'll be like, damn, it is a lot of smoke. It's like a whole wave being sucked in there. No wonder. Um, I'll usually get it like by the pound, bro, and that's kind of fucking. I'm, like, I'm not saying that shit to like. To yeah, flex you your internet, but it's, it. I know you don't smoke all of it. I do smoke a good part of it. And how often do you get a pound? Once a month. Yeah. <laughs> like once a month, dog. That's a lot. Yeah. And I get mine at a good price. It's not because I can't smoke more. Like it's not that. It's not that either. That's yeah, dude. I can't smoke a pound a month. That is a lot, man. I don't know. That's, I get. All, and you also. I would like. I don't know, bro. I think I. I. I feel like at some point I want to go talk to like the respiratory hospital system and be like, "Look, man, I'm obviously taking this to the next level. Can you? Can you? Can you monitor my fucking lungs? Let me be the representation to. Because there's got to be something done, bro. Like somebody who smokes this much cigarettes, what the vas a morir? I'm like, what's the effect of smoking this much no. shit? You never smoke cigarettes. Like for three months when I was younger, that's it. And then I was like, "What the fuck am I doing ah, smoking this shit?" And George, I stopped. George fucks up a pack a day, plus plus blunts. And George, dude, when I live with George, it's a pack a day, and it's at least and at least six seven blunts. During during the pandemic, I mean, I at least I know I would roll up at least eight blunts by the end of the day. 
You know, do you, do you smoke cigarettes or did you smoke cigarettes? I used to. Yeah? Yeah. Was it hard for you to quit? Nah. No? But were you like, did you smoke a mulatto? Nah, really, bro. It, I'm telling you, I was never like into smoking, smoking like that. Like, I smoked, but it wasn't like I had to smoke. It was mainly like i will come around my homies and we'll smoke a little bit. Yeah. If I didn't, I didn't care. But cigarettes, I, I think I smoke more cigarettes than weed, though. Porque era un vicio, right? It's a, I, like the cigarette. I don't know, bro. It's because you don't feel like. How can I say? You don't feel that high, so you kind of don't feel like it does anything to you. You know. Yeah, he's and, right. And and, and 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 you know, at least when you smoke, you, you feel like you know. Feel the side effect right away. Sometimes with the cigarette, it's more like unconsciously you feel like you need it. <coughs> like you obviously because of the nicotine, you're addicted to the nicotine. You crave it, yeah. Yeah, but um, you don't consciously feel like you need it. But I don't know. I just think it's a it's a it's a habit that's way harder to 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 break for some people. For me, it wasn't too too crazy, bro. It was just like I don't know, bro. I think the fact when, back to the what we were talking about when I had a kid. I just wanted to be a, a good person. And then that meant, like, whatever I have to do, I have to do. Like, I stopped hanging with people, stopped smoking. So even if it was cigarettes or whatever it was, I, I had to, if I had to do it to, to be a better person or be a good dad, I was willing to do it. So, Would you be willing to stop smoking, dog? Inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <clears throat> He's I don't like, know, yeah. dog. Like... Well, I, I don't think you stop smoking inside the car. I think the only way that I would probably stop smoking is if the doctor told me that was some weed way. Like, like, if, like, and if, then you would just like go, if you fucking smoke one more day, you're gonna fucking die. Fool. And then you would just go straight to edibles. Like, it's, who's my edible connect? That's crazy, bro. Because I have a homie that like he has a like a sugar problem, like diabetes. And yeah. They have already told him like if you keep drinking and doing these things, you're gonna die. And the dude will go probably like a day after from seeing the doctor without doing it or two. Yeah. And then after he just. And you start pounding? Bro, he don't give a fuck. Like, so like I'd be. Soda? Like, nah. Or? Well, no yeah, food, that's too. The alcohol it, is sugar, fool. So like. Yeah. You, like you, like, yeah. like you could, you could be, you could, you could want to drink, bro. Like that's going to be the same thing. Like, um, that's going to be the same shit. Like. The people that have like a lot of fools end up. They, a lot of people think that that, that uh, because you're diabetic, you're gonna. It's because you have a sweet tooth and all that shit. The sweet tooth just helps you fucking die faster if you have di diabetes, bro. A lot of people get diabetes from the over drinking, bro, because your body is a lot is processing a lot of sugar, bro. That's all alcohol is. It's yeah, fucking bro. sugar. Yeah, yeah. That's just not healthy for you, bro. That's just literally poison. I mean, people fuck with it. It's yeah. not gonna stop, but literally, it has no benefit to your body. So. Is it? It's something to to um, to like fucking. Uh, I guess take the take the edge off. You're just, that's a banana way. Yeah. That's why you fucking get like loose, bro. Because <laughs> it's a banana, bro. Like what happens to anything that gets poisoned? Like if you fucking spray a fly, it's gonna get a little ditzy if you don't kill it at first. You know that's what a poison does. Have you been seeing that fucking that hack Which with, one? with the wasp? You want some more water food? I got you. For that wasp, where you put fucking. Gasoline in the cup and you put it right next to the bees nest swaps and those bitches die. Nah, well, it's been all over my TikTok or my fucking. Why do you Instagram. get destructive shit towards nature? I don't know, dog. That's what I'm saying. Am I the only one who got that? It's been all over my shit. I don't have TikTok on my shit. I took that shit off. I haven't had it for like. I haven't had it for like a year. I just, I just never fucking. I'm like, hey, bro. If it, when it says hey, open up TikTok. China. To 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 view it, I'm like, otro pinche app, Yahweh. Like, I don't want no more, man. Like, they come in pass, way. You were so happy with Tumblr. It's not that's not Tumblr, stupid. It's Threads. Oh, threads, yeah. You were so happy with Threads. He's I still go on Threads. I vent on there. It's nice. Yeah, he's one came back. Yeah. and was like, yeah, Threads. Fuck Twitter. Threads. It, threads is pretty much Twitter, right? Yeah, they copy. Yeah, they're fucking hacks. But, mommy, but be it belongs to what? Facebook, no? Yeah, it belongs to Instagram. Censorship. They don't fucking believe in freedom of speech. They hid the Hunter Biden shit. Don't go over there. Ah, uh, hey, that's Twitter. private though, dude. It's like a clean Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not allowed to say faggot. You're not allowed to say retard. You're not allowed to say any any of the good words. Bro, I think <laughs> even with Instagram, bro, like if you drop a comment that to them is like, not, it tells you they'll flag your shit. It literally tells you we've already reblocked, we've already deleted something yeah, like yeah, this. Are yeah. you sure you want to post it? And then te la piensas. Like some fool commented, uh, some hater ass fool commented on some shit on my thing, and I, I wanted to put like suck a dick, 
And then yeah. they fucking flagged my shit twice. They told me that if I keep doing it, they're going to end up deleting my account or removing my account. Yeah. What was the craziest uh, dish you got from that? There must have been a lot of haters and not people that oh, loved it. Oh, like not only that, the like, like I have a couple of videos that got a lot of attention, but um, I had this video where I sing a, it's a cover song for the the Bad Bunny Frontera song, uh, Por Ciento, uh, that cumbia song. I did like a kind of like an acoustic R and B version of it, and some dude on that on the comments said that. Uh, uh, I, I sing like a hyena and I look like a lesbian. <laughs> that shit was funny. Bro. You see, I don't get mad though. Oh, yeah, That's the thing. Funny, I don't yeah. get mad, bro. This other fool said that 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 fool that fool wouldn't doubt me. Um, maybe getting married and having kids, but that that he would um that he would expect that one day my wife walks in on me and, and sees me with Julio. Like this long ass weird message, bro. That's you know, like, like, that's pretty. That's pretty. He thought about it. Yeah, bro. Yeah. He, he, you know, I be getting some yeah. stupid. He got caught up with the Julio. Yeah, bro. You know, like, <laughs> stupid, stupid shit like that, bro. I mean, people saying fucking. I was just asking him what uh, if you got any hate from on the video, any stupid comments. You know how you know how when your shit go viral, it goes kind of viral. There's the haters, and then there's the people that that just. Yeah. And I know he went through it because I I go. Yeah, through bro. It too, that, on that specific video, the mariachi video, people told me like. I guess out of town people like you got some whack ass uh females in the back. Yeah. You could have invested some money. People I don't know. Some people said that I was um uh promoting prostitution. <laughs> that like that some people saying that I because you were on fake probably that I'm I'm a pimp so I'm like trafficking people. I don't know, bro. Just random <laughs> shit, you know. Like, but I'm not no pimp. I actually did get a lot of girls hit me up. Thinking that I was a pimp, fool, oh, you know? No. Yeah, yeah, bro. And then I, no. yeah, because, yeah, bro, because that shit went viral. It went on full. I, I counted oh. like maybe like 20, 25 pages, and each page got like a hundred, two hundred thousand views on it, including mine. So I counted all of them. It was almost like two million views all together. And and nice. then I, and then like a lot of those pages that reposted me are like pages that focus on like prostitution. Yeah, and, and a lot of pages on Figaro specifically. Yeah. So. I guess since they posted me and tagged me, a lot of their fucking followers, which are girls that be in the street, be started yeah. adding me, bro, hitting me up, talking about like, daddy, what's up, daddy? Like, and I'm just like, oh yeah, bro. I'm, I, so I, I had to put on my thing. I'm not no pimp and I'm not no trick either. Damn. Yeah, so they were, damn, they were trying to hit you up like that? All oh, grimy as bitches too, huh? And bitches were like, cause the song says, these bitches don't love me. They'll be like, baby, I love you, baby, I love you. I'm like, nah, bro. Damn. Uh, it's crazy, bro, because I need to start a whole new side hustle. I have some uh, talking back to the barber thing that I do, the the mobile stuff. I have some clients that are pimps, bro. I go cut their hair on on figure out on the on the motels. Yeah. Oh damn, like that? Yeah, bro. And then these dudes do that shit for real. One thing about pimps, bro, is like, you know, I'm not talking to nobody's hustle because you know, like I said, I got yeah. homies that are pimps, but these dudes like they got a mouth, bro. They could talk their way into a lot of shit, bro. I mean, how like else? Sharp, you? like sharp from uh, you've heard of sharp. Yeah, bro. These fools are they're not stupid, bro. To be able to to do the shit they do, to, you, to you make gotta a have, bitch, to make a bitch give you all her money for what she just. That's did, what I used to say, bro. That's some fucking. She had to go do all this shit, and then she's gonna come back and, <laughs> and give hand you them. the money. Maybe not give it to them because yeah. it's not like they give it to them, but. He decides what ha he decides yeah, like where he it goes. Yeah, like he decides what happens. Like you, 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 you gotta have some fucking um, skills, bro, to do some shit like that. Imagine he's like, they don't pay for their haircuts. <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> no, nah, but uh, like, so you know, they they got the gift of gab and shit. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That's, that's why some pimps are more successful than others, bro. On top of whatever else they they do, you know, like, but yeah. Damn, that's. Damn, that, that's I guess that's real fucking pimping though. If you're cutting hair I mean, at the hotel, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? If you're pulling up, uh, I, my homie was telling me, shout out my homie Fred. He was like, bro, you should do a, a day in the life of your barbering, you know? Because yeah. I literally go to like the Jordan Down projects and Watts. Then I go up to Beverly Hills, cut some fucking rich ass motherfucker. Damn, you, you be go, going to those projects for then, Watts? Then, then I go to like Figaro, cut some foods right there, or I'll be in South Central. And then I go down to the Hollywood Hills and. You know, and shit like that, bro. Like, you'd be like, you should record that shit. It'd probably be entertaining and have, like, conversations with them. See, people can see, like, you know, real life shit. 
from different sides, you know? That's crazy, bro. And you don't ever feel like you're in danger sometimes? I mean, yeah, you're always in danger, bro. In the neighborhood, you are. But, <clears throat> you know, it is what it is, bro. You got to... Yeah, like it's a, do what you can do, you know, to, to look out for yourself. If they get, if they, if they're gonna, if they're gonna make you go to, uh, to, to like a, to a fucking neighborhood that's grimy, or if they're gonna make you go to like a neighborhood that you know is hot, <laughs> I'll be charging a little extra, bro. I'll be like, hey, if we'll give me that bulletproof fee, you know, I'll yeah, be like, yeah. let me, like, let me, let me, uh, let me get that fee or something like that, because that that is pretty dangerous, bro, to be cutting hairs. Uh, Cause I'm like, you don't even gotta be from like, um, <coughs> you don't even gotta be from like an opposing neighborhood or something like that. You could just be like somebody that's just, yeah, a bystander. You're it just happens. right there cutting hair. Yeah. You be seeing hoes when those be in the hotel and you yeah. be cutting hair. They just be right yeah. there getting ready. Be right there getting ready, or they're bringing them food, or you will call them, or sometimes you'll just check up on them. Like you still right there? Like yeah, all right. Damn. Yeah, bro. Some of these girls are very pretty, bro. Like no cap, they're very pretty girls. I I don't know. They make more money, I, I suppose. <laughs> I be seeing that shit too, man, because I see uh, Soft White Underbelly, and sometimes he be, or like other channels like him, and there are some pretty girls out there, and you're just like, damn, bitch, like, what are you doing out there? Look, bro, like, I, I, nah, never mind, bro. I was going to say some shit, but I'm not nah, say like, it. I mean, right. this is the, yeah. I have a, I have a, it, it's, it's real life shit, bro. Like, like, I know, like, a lot of people may or may not relate to what I, what I say, but, but if you live in the neighborhood and, like, where I grew up at, and you have like real people, like uh, genuine people that are really like out there, um, you will come across these 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 um these people, bro. I have a friend that back to the time he's in jail fighting murder, and um, like I would go in his house every day when I wasn't at my house because we were from the same tagging crew, and um, you know like fucking I seen the struggle, bro. Like and I seen how the littlest. The, the 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 youngest person in 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 that room that we all thought had the biggest potential end up like what are we talking about bro okay yeah. <clears throat> and it's sad bro it's sad to see that shit because you're like what the fuck like that shit happened to me i'm driving down there and i see this person i know and i'm like bro i met you when you were six seven years old bro what the fuck are you doing you get in the car i'm gonna take you home be like you got me fucked up nigga like i'm staying right here and i'm just like where the fuck is your people's at? Like, you know, and it's just like, dudes in jail, mom's over here. Everybody is just like, it's fucked up, bro. Some of these girls have some some fucked up stories. And go here, go hear the software underbelly. You hear their stories. Yeah, and you're bro. like, no wonder you're there. You don't obviously know, but you're like, yeah, I can see how you ended up. Yeah, yeah when you when you break it down, you're like, oh, damn, like this was going on at home. Yeah. And then I know this girl like that was doing that since she was a kid. Dad was never around. And mom would barely have enough to even pay rent. She never had new Jordans, new shoes. Yeah. And I'm sure that in school, people had that. And you see, you grow up, so you get it like, I'm going to get it how I can, however yeah. I can. And that was her way of getting money, fool. That, I talked to her older cousin. I told her, hey, bros, which McCall is out there? Well, what the fuck? And he's just like, yeah, but we already talked to her. But you got to like see it like that. But she never had this. And now she could go and get this much money in one day. Look like this, dress like this, going these places. Like you think you gonna tell her stop, and she's just gonna stop. That's her way that opened and unlocked a lot of shit in this world to her. So why would she stop? You know? That's crazy. It's crazy, fool. Yeah. To be fucking in a like like you're telling your cousin to be like, oh, no me importa. <laughs> like that's fucking kind of fucked and up. And then to bro. wonder who picked, and then who. That, who but it's just like think about it, bro. If you're her cousin, then you're like, hey, fool, like, cause you're like, you're like, you think you're doing the right thing. You're like, hey, bro, your little cousin's over there fucking being a horror or whatever it is, and then this was like. Yeah, we know. Yeah, he told me we already talked to her, but you can't do anything about it. That's fucking crazy. Like bro. we get her out, she's gonna come right back. What are we gonna do? Are you and and you know what's the craziest part? Her age, bro. Like 15, 16 years old doing this shit. Young, bro. Oh damn. I thought you were talking about somebody of nah, age. Like 16 years old at most when I found out she was doing this shit. I'm just like, that shit wild, bro. You, you wonder know? who picks them up. Yeah, it's a lot of Johns. Yeah, nobody is no underage. I don't know, bro, but sometimes, bro, it's crazy, bro. I, when you, when you see the opposing, hey, um, yeah. when you see the people that be setting up to catching these fools who be getting the job, who are yeah, like they got my school. uncle. <laughs> nah, but like, who, <laughs> Come on. like they got so, my uncle. They did. This fool got fucking got caught up in that. Like, fucking it's not job. just it's not just deals that are picking up these whores. 
Like, is it? Is well, it the like, homie got caught up not too long ago too. <laughs> <laughs> he, tried to, he tried to say that he was doing Uber. <laughs> he was, he was picking some, he was doing Uber, bro. Oh no way! All right, so and that's a pretty, that's a pretty good one, that dude. Was it, All right, so I was doing Uber, bro. I was gonna pick somebody else. Explain, so, explain, explain your homie, like describe uh, the homie, dog. I want to know the maniac homie. The <laughs> homie, the homie, the, the, is he a fat fool? A little bit, not too much, but he a savage, bro. That's what he is. Oh, so that's, that's, that's what he is. Savage, I mean, because yeah. I would be like, bro, I know you could get some. Yeah. You know what the fuck? I guess it was just one of them days where he just... Um, feeling good on a good one? He was on a good one, bro. Feeling inspired. <laughs> and he was like, fuck it. And, and, and what happened? That fool, that fool pulled up? Oh, that, it was undercover. Damn. So that actually is undercovers oh, out there. got my uncle. They're undercovers, homie. I thought it was They're like fine, too, undercover, fine bro. Chicks. As soon as she got in the car, burp, pull up on that nigga. Damn. Went to jail. And he just said, Uber? She was like, what up? I was going to Uber. I thought she knew her right. <laughs> did he have the Uber sign in his he, car? He, he did. No <laughs> way. <laughs> he Imagine did. Uber fucking fired him, too. Oh, on if top I of did, that. Nah, they find that shit out real quick. <laughs> nah, Uber won't fire you, but you could kill somebody and then go back to Uber eating tomorrow. Hey, bro, can we turn the AC on again, bro? Yeah, yeah I was... <laughs> I was like, yeah, this was getting the cop. I was like, yeah, I don't think they hotbox it like this, fool. Nah, this is this is a little more, but it's cool. Yeah, I was like, look, yeah, se, le, so, hey, they, se they, levantan they, los fucking ghosts, bro, when they, you fucking do it. Like, look, it's the like cartoons, you know, when, like, you see the Tom and Jerry and the oh, fucking yeah, little yeah. smoke with the pie would be like that. Fucking, you see all the smoke lingering. I don't even, damn. How much time did he do? Uh, I don't, I don't think he did much, bro. I think he bailed out. Yeah. I think he bailed out, so he didn't do much. I think what, what happened after he just got put like on probation, and then I think he just had to pay some fees. I don't know, some was, little, but it wasn't nothing crazy for him. Yeah. I just, but bail? do they put you on the offender list though? What were you gonna say, right? How much was bail for that? Ten uh, percent of like. I think it was around like five grand, fifty thousand, so <laughs> something like that. Like, so ten percent so, of so, that. So, so you got to do like five. Five grand. Somewhere or like 250. It wasn't yeah. too too crazy, bro. Damn, for picking up a hooker though. That's funny though, bro. That's a funny thing, you know. Like that's a funny thing when 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 dudes are like, yeah, bro, I can't do that, but because I'm on probation, trying to sound like yeah. he, he 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 was doing some crazy shit, you know? Yeah. And they like, bro, you got picked up by the fucking undercover, bro. Like being a horn dog, you know? Like, bro. I mean, but how do you like? And also too, bro, because there's like. Fools that ask like a prostitute certain questions to be like, yo, like the girl will want to touch you like before, before that way, you know, you're not a cop because the cop will say that you know, but it depends on how bad they want to be committed to the job. Some of them will probably do it. Shit. I don't know, bro, but girls get caught up all the time. I suppose too, bro. And then what picking up hookers? No, like by they're cops. So, they're, oh, supposed by cops. To, they're supposed to get in trouble too, dog. No, they, they they I don't know if it's legal. No. I don't think the girls get in trouble. But they bro. have, they have, bro. They I know girls that they'll be in jail because they were prostituting. So I don't know if it's legal now. I heard supposedly they're legal. I don't know if that's true anymore. But I do see way more girls now on fake than before, bro. Bro, you see them on Western, bro. I be going hiking oh, yeah, on Thursday. Sure. Western I'm, and Western is like the new thing. Yeah, Western is. Or it's the, been. Fig. Yeah, but it's 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 crazy, bro. Like even up on all the way to uh to Griffith Park, bro. I be going up there. And I'm like, it's it's early in the morning. I'm like, who the fuck is out? And I'm like, these girls is like, they're waking up just to go in this time. And it's all the construction routes, all the construction yeah. worker fools. And are I know going you guys might not know, not not. And I know you're taking, but it's just a, like, what's the price? Not that I want to know either. But like, hey, what's the what's the what's the average? I don't. Is there know, even a, bro. how do you add? You just fucking. I mean, I, did, I think it, they got different prices. Yeah, it's like, bro, they know I mean, who they can get. Uh, they, they know who they can get over on. I like they know that the, yeah. some girl would charge two hundred an hour. For like for a dude that like looks up like she's like all right i kind of trust him he's not a fucking crazy job or like it's not that uncomfortable and then they'll see like some wife will come on and be like it's 700 an hour because it's oh, just yeah. like whatever you so can like get away I, with like let's say let's say hypothetically i was gonna go i pull up in the honda not the Tahoe, they'll get you for like 500 an hour but do i get the do i, do I drive in the honda or they the will get, i know it's looking at you in the like, honda or the Tahoe? I, I, you know what that's a good question bro like, like two whips like like how would they charge you know like because they because they don't have a standard price bro it's not like that they, they probably see some ugly fat dude be like, i'm gonna charge in triple yeah exactly uh, you straight smell, up yeah you smell like urban my homie smells like shit dog so and he he's got, handicapped yeah so he's four five times more oh shit. He walks like a pirate 
Or he might, <laughs> he, they might not even bone you. Fools like that, they just call their pen. Be like, yo, come get me. Come get this fool's money. He can't even fight. I think. I, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> you're fucking stupid. Boy, you dog. know that happens, dog. You call your feet like. Pushes oh, him. Oh, can't fight. I almost kicked his ass. <laughs> Just, I, I don't know. I think if, if they're willing to pay, they probably do it, bro, because they ain't in it for, for the money. Right. That is true, bro. We think they look, you got to look at it long term money. Like, you can't fuck up that check that's going to be coming by every once yeah, in a while. Yeah, you have this little midget that's on cover <laughs> in your bag. You better. Yeah. Like, if a midget's dropping a big bag, dog, like, you're going to want to keep that midget happy, dog. Yeah, bro. Hey, but it's crazy, bro, because I, like, I have homies that obviously paid for that shit. I've never done it. Sort of got. You know, because you know, who's yeah. be like the homie yeah. wants to know, but it's really yeah. you. Nah, bro, like my homie, he would tell He's me. He's like, the homie wants to know at the yeah. barbershop. I yeah. bet that's how it always starts yeah. out. Yeah, so, so, so the the homie, um, he would go and sometimes I'll tell him, right, though, keep it on honey, bro. Yeah. You want it raw? And he was just like, yeah, bro. No! You know? so, so I'm just like, bro, like, not only. It goes both ways because not only can people get sick and catch some shit, but they could yeah. like spread it in these yeah. girls if this he's willing to pay a extra, little more. Yeah, you pay extra for yeah. oh, oh, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's the case, but if he's oh, yeah. willing to pay more or or whatever the case may be, they're willing to do it. Some of them are willing to do it. They fucking play in like Russian roulette every night, bro. Like every day, you know that's just that's your fucking. Then you could give it to somebody you actually care about. Yeah, I've not been strippers. I definitely wear a condom. Or like, or, 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 or worse, or worse, you can fucking like, you, like you might not even know. And then you get, you give, uh, you, you finally have a kid and then I, I, you saw it. You know what I mean? Cause your kid's born with something that you can't get rid of because you don't even know you had it. Cause you were out there. Uh, what is it? A uh, rolling imagine the dice. Getting, imagine getting a prostitute pregnant. <clears throat> oh, dude. Just she finds th- out you're rich. So she keeps it. Damn. That baby's going to be like, something's going to, I don't know, bro. Prostitutes be taking care of themselves in a sense where like, in a sense where like, I think a prostitute has to check, like the ones that are really in the game, bro, they probably like check themselves like a lot, bro. Like if they really have a certain clientele and all that stuff, they probably go get checked Those all the escorts. time. Those are escorts. Nah, some like no, some, girls on Figueroa go to go to Pan not, Parenthood once a month. I don't know. I'm saying like if you if, if you if you have a if you have a pimp that knows how to run some shit like down and, and really is trying to like elevate these holes, dog, that's really what it is like some old <laughs> Some old school motherfuckers will take care of their bitches, dog, and be like, hey, bitch, go get tested. I don't want to be having this shit, bro. Like, the only reason he cares is because he bones them, too. Even, even, if, <laughs> even, even, if, even, if that's the, even if that's the case, though, but even if that's the case, bro, like, you still, you still, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're still going to go ahead and uh, you're still taking care of these hoes. Yeah. Kind of have to. That's just like a, what do they call them, like a stable? It's kind of like being a farmer. Being a farmer. Being cool taking your plants, yeah, hey man. But, um, hey man, this this, this has been a, a very insightful interview, dog. This is dope. We went from it, anywhere, it, we went from like it went everywhere. Dog. I mean, yeah, it went from music to Christian reggaeton to like real life shit to like uh, you cutting some pimps' hairs, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, bro, you an interesting motherfucker, neat. And uh, you know, what, let's, let's clap it up, dog. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me too, man. Thanks for the invitation, bro. I Definitely, bro. You're welcome here anytime. I know you probably got a little high. I've been being in here for sure. Uh, I can feel it a little bit. It, it, hap- it happens, bro. It really happens a lot. I remember we used to have an intern here, Kate, and she didn't smoke at all. And there'll be times where it'll be four deep and we're all smoking. And the show will have to stop because she'll start coughing and she'll have to leave. Yeah. Because there's no escaping it, bro. Yeah. So, like, people will get high. I don't... Nah, I started to feel it a little bit. I felt like I need to turn the AC, so... <laughs> I'm gonna walk out of here high shit. You know? <laughs> Where can they follow you at if they want a haircut or if they want a, a feature dog? They can hit me up at Neat Martinez. It's N E A T Martinez with a Z at the end. Neat Martinez. They could just check me out, DM me, or or, or um um. Go check out his video, dude. That video on, on Figueroa with the mariachi suit. Go check it out. Yeah, go check out uh, the latest single. It's called Mariachi Two by Neat Martinez. Out on all platforms. I make sure I check it out. Follow me on TikTok too, uh, YouTube. Search me up, same name, Neat Martinez. Yep, there you go. Make sure you guys check him out. I mean, he's made very interesting, dude. Your story is very interesting. I, if you had that uh, day in the life of the barber, I would, I would definitely check it out. Yeah, for sure, bro. Do that. Yep, and if I had hair, I for sure, ha- I'd for sure get a haircut from. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it, Ray? Uh, shout outs. Shout out to Neat. Thanks for coming through, man. Thank you. Surprising, but great. 
Follow me at Morning Shot Films, IG and YouTube. Check out my website, morningshotfilms.co. Tomorrow, I will be putting out the film Interstellar, directed by Christopher Nolan. Listen to why I think that's the film of the last decade. And Xavier, I want to do um, Eight Mile. Do Eight Mile. Oh, that I'm dude. still fucking tripping, bro. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> ate psychedelics for breakfast. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Like I'm not tripping, tripping, bro. But like, the, there's, there's hell. Like, there is shit out. Like, I'm just like, oh man, my mind, drop, my go, mind is working. You gotta go drop off boxes. Nah, I just gotta go to the bank. <laughs> well, hit that like button, subscribe. Who do we got tomorrow? Uh, we got uh, my homie Lil Draws. He's perform. He's a rapper. He's uh, been performing at all these weed events for the longest. Uh, he's worked with some reputable artists as well. I mean, I've known Dude for a while, and I ran into him recently. Uh, still doing his thing. So we're gonna have him come up. There we go. Yeah. Hit that like button, subscribe. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, we got something in store for you guys, so stay tuned. Yeah, Thanks stay to everybody on the Patreon. We, really, we love you guys. Couldn't do it without you guys. Yeah, yeah. appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.